Open page 10, in this auto book of service, page 10, brothers and sisters, we gather here to thank God for, the, for Patrick's life. In time like this, our minds are flooded with memory of those times we associated with Patrick. We will forever hold these memories dear in our hearts. We shall remember his love for God and his passion for God's word and how he served the Lord with his humility. The Apostle Paul admonishes us not to grieve as those without hope. We come to this time to pray the prayer of prayer with hope in Jesus Christ who overcome death and how reign victoriously forevermore. Jesus said, I am a recreation and a life, and he who believes in, in me, though he dies, shall live, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. We brought nothing into the world, and we take nothing from the world. The Lord gives, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our prayer, our prayer, all our loving internal Heavenly Father, as we meet this day to remember our dear friend, and Brother Patrick, we ask you to be with to us the God of all comfort and the God of all grace. Give us uh, foresight as we face this reality of death to grow our perspectives of the truth of life. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We shall remain standing as we read Psalms. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our Psalm of today is Psalms 39 and we shall read. Okay. We shall read it in turns. Psalm 39, I said, I will guide my ways, lest I sin with my tongue. I will restrain my mouth with the muso, while the wicked are before me. I, I was mute with silence. I held my peace even from good, and my sorrow was stirred up. My heart was hot within me, while I was musing and fire pan. Then I spoke with my tongue. Lord, make me to know of my end and what is in the midst of my days, that I may know how you pray that I am. Indeed, you have made my days as hand prayed, and my age is as nothing before you. Certainly, every man at his first state is but favor. Surely, every man walks about in the shadow. Surely they peace themselves in vain. He heaps up riches and does not know who will cut him. And now, Lord, what do I wait for? My hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the reproach of the foolish. I was mute. I didn't, I did not open my mouth because it was you who did it. Remove your prayer from me. I am consumed by the blow of your hand. When with, when with the rebukes you correct man for iniquity, you make his beauty melt away like moth. Surely every man is proper. Every man is pray. And give ear to my cry. Not be silent at my tears. 
for I'm a stranger with you, a sojourner as all fathers well. Remove your gaze from me, that may regain strength before I come away and I'm no more. Glory be to Father, Father, the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit, Spirit as you are now and, and forever. Amen. This seats, they take our seats as we listen for the first reading. First reading of today, it is from the book of John, chapter 14, the book of John, the Gospel, chapter 14, 1 to 8. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it, was, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and I prepare a place for you, I will come again and I receive you unto myself, that when I am there, you may also be there. And uh, whether I go you now and the way you know, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not your way, we know not whither you go, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. If you had not, I mean you had not knew me, you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth you know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, Show us the Father, and it suffices us. That's the first reading. And reading. Our second reading is taken from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, beginning from verse 1 to 10, English version NIV, awaiting the new body. For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, 
We have a building from God, an internal house in heaven and not built by human hands. Meanwhile, we groan, longing to be clothed instead with our heavenly dwelling. Because, we are, because when we are clothed, we will not be we will not be found naked. For while we are in this tent, we groan and are burdened because we do not wish to be unclothed, but to be clothed. Instead, with our heavenly dwelling, that what is immortal may be swallowed up swallowed up by life. Now, the one who has, who has versioned us for this very purpose is God who has given us the spirit as, the deep, as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come. Therefore, we are always confident and know that as long as we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we live by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and I should, do, and I should do, prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord, so we, so we make it our goal to please him, whether we are at home in the body or away from it, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each of us may receive what is due to us for the things done while in the body, whether good or bad, this has been God's word. Thanks be to the Lord. Evi gambo vyaka tonda vekole so moyoko ngavu vela ngavu vweka nyela votyo wola Yes, I see the nab. Imbukaino, Kanahua, Kana Westerner, who waited for Napola Professor Master Kuya, the great son of this region. I want to welcome each one of us who has labored or sacrificed time. It is a symbol of love. You know love must be practical, not just sleep service. I know you have spent your time, your money. On behalf of the church, I want to welcome all of you. And at such a time, we're going to be master of ceremony. And we're program. That's the end of the first part of the church. So I want to receive and welcome the... MC to start from there. We are expecting Bishop in a short time of Mali Diocese. So as he comes, I already agreed with the MC that will bring the microphone back. Thank you so much. Sahro, how can you? Uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, dear mourners, back to our program. But before I go back to the program, I just want to say, those who came with condolence messages, please bring them to me. I'll guide them. I'll guide you how to convey them to the mourners. 
Ladies and gentlemen, straight to the program laying of the flag by UPC. Thank you. Uh, hello. Na pasamamu nye mwole, ano kuri oku msingi kwe huu kula kumukoro kwa profesa patu kama sate kuya. Kumusiki kuli huo wehera eventi ino kwa besingro nubu kristayo ichachi ilio. Nipo masawaro mali. Kuli mundu ama koni isaba isamira ni mufu kilisa ni mufu kolo ni banal. Masawaro ya wala maruma nesi mawa suti na mkongo wa manye bulebui uchendota. Bayu pisi isimuli mwite. Bayu pisi mwite kukore jimisona jimi nyongo che pate ya yu pisi. Kwa masawaro marule kaza ni barebu zima kabu zima buliota. Bayu pisi mwese na mwite. Kwa nabone adama ni president yu uwe pate. Baba mle Iva labi osi tana Mwite mchende Iva ni ufisi le Uwe pate Agabe mfuradi ya plansi ya rele ya Nga nuko wino kila mo Wa mara wa si mwara molina kuyenari dile So kena isabe mwese tana mwe pate Olio Mwaba Yali goni yuzi plansi bandi Mwanya na
I take the honor. Thank you so much. If you want to clap, clap seriously. Thank you so much. I want to take the honor, this material thing, to recognize the party president for UPC who has arrived in person. You are welcome. Thank you. At an appropriate time, you will speak to the owners. I want to take this honor to arrive to thank the honorable members of parliament, honorable ways for always is with us. And others, honorable Musia has arrived. Amina. <laughs> they have all arrived. I want to take the honor to thank honorable Wayne has come with the person. You all come. Thank you. Others, I do not know them at an appropriate time. The honorable MOP for Bureau West will recognize all of them. I don't want to mess up protocol. We take the honor to recognize the chairman of C5, he's here for Banafa District. We take the honor to recognize the RDC for Banafa District, they are all present here. We take the honor to recognize the DPC who has been here all the time, they are all here. Security is assured. We thank the church that have been able to perform this function. We thank you for coming. The bishop is on the way, but they have come. Thank you so much. All of you fellow mourners, if you have various capacities, we thank you for turning up to honor our late brother, Dr. Professor Masete Kuya, who is to be laid to his house last for the last time today. We thank you all in your various capacities for taking your time and money to be here. Above all, for braving the weather which is looking like it's really difficult, but you are here, you have been here with us. Don't worry, if you go back when you are dirty, it will, people will know that you have come to a place which has rain, and therefore there is food. We shall also even give you food to take back home there. Thank you so much, thank you for coming. On the program, we don't want to waste time. I want to invite the chairperson, LC1, to lead us here today. Chairman LC1, who is a representative Romano <laughs> Ariya <laughs> Ta protocol ya bino biza abdi se bana anga mtu ma Isaaca chama ero situ e kumuru hakuwe buna anga bokuno ufuilele papa ubere example iye kumuru hakuno urere ito ato ana ni mimi ne we buka si na wale bika lita kuka ne hata kumsa kumwes mamira bini alii baba kani ne Well, the Mukukawe Fue will be example. Eva Masaba at your own remorai. The Abue Nao, no overruda host of Rosetta, Nakanira, Kansala, Aka, and the Chairman, and the city. Protocol, a woman in Babaka, and the Kafas, whatever the Vika, the Tapa Yango, where I might see her. Thank you so much. Papa Master of Ceremonies, Bali Dimwe, Simu Rifa Vienu, and Mwami Ale Inyambi Hwabakani. 
Se kama sina ndi kata misara yari ya kansa rawe shisi nza shino Baba kani ilerua huita
thank you so much, our DJ. Members, we, we are still recognizing our important visitors to this function. We are recognizing my Dokas Wagima Okalanyi, Permanent Secretary, Miss of Lands. She is with us here and the proprietor of Mapo Cottages, Nikamon Koli. Ma, you are most welcome. Thank you. Uh, we also recognize the uh, Honorable Wamango Wamai. We recognize the Honorable Dutuwa Sieva. We have a home in Arukobo. We have a minister. We have a papo. 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 Mwamusumwa yumukai wanyala Kuli ni papa ambasada Olimba peke alio Kwa hama ni muzei Na kimesi wa PCU Witi alio Ona lewe musira Musanama kulomeraba inio musanibu urua Oku kawanyala Witi Kuli ni miso wasi ono na yewiti Kwa hama ni papa meru Sipini Kwa hama ni mwiti le, kwa hama ni baba anani, haba mile ibulafu, mwa peru, kei, wabi rangoli, ibula ayamu United Nations nizi, Tony Moli, kani mwa iti le, kwa mile, huu ili atuera, kuko konele, nenga baramba, mwusorele, wanda. So, kwa hama ni sana mwiti le kuka, kwa hama kule, mkasi ya wanya la waba bita ho, hafu tenga kuyongi la iprogramu, iye la ho. Hulubuti ya kufuna umusale Let's have at least a representative for friends If you are around please come and deliver your message And we are assuming that you can take around one to two minutes After that we shall have the OBs of Nabumari High School NOSA representative So immediately we are done with the friends representative OBs and OGs of Nabumari High School just organize yourself also to come forward. So we are requesting Somebody that the representing friends, or friends to come. If we if we see far, I take this honor to invite the OBs and OGs of Nabumari uh, High School, no sir. Baba so Malahe Nabumari Muha Mwesana, it's a never kissing you know. Baba so Malahe Nabumari Muha. Mwete imu nangisi ino Uwa somenake na umalimu hai Ni papo konele Profesor Patrick Masete kuya Mwete ino Fuo masabaru maru manezi mawa Zuti loko nga mwene 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 uche ndo tawe Aba asoma ni inaye Baadi ya kona ya mudei ni ingibi kala mwishibi ina ni inaye Edaba abo nanga vitavo nga vanyanya vitavo Papo kwa kusimila wanyala mwete Bwe na umalimu asoma somenako ni mwete Ni mwete wana ala kulioba vili Ule kasari barabu sima kapu sima muri yote Baba aso melakaya na mumbari Baba abu eneo Aba di aba sukuru fisi ya alafuwa Hello Hello Let's minimize adding more words Because of time Na mumbari na mumbari all bees All bees All bees
to mourn my great friend. I had the privilege to be selected among many to work with the late Patrick in the capacity of a personal assistant. So he was my boss. For five years, we bonded and met really unbrokable friendship. All these years we have been together, not so much in space, but in all other ways. I thank God for Patrick. Patrick was a very friendly man. He was always misunderstood to be a provocative, but what he did was always when he was mindful of the community in the greater Mbale. All what he did as a minister, while he had a constituency, Mbale Southwest, he always projected the Mbale community. We will miss him, and I do really on the friend of on the behalf of friends to call upon the current leadership in the greater Bogisu to really emulate and carry on his good deeds. I would want also all of you to remember their family. They are still young. If you can be of assistance in any way, or even if you can just pray for them. I will not go so far, but I still want to emphasize one thing, that Patrick was a great man, very respectable, and always mindful about others. Thank you very much. So, uh, thank you, the representative of friends. Now, let's have Nabumari all the students, uh, no sir. Is uh, Ikanisa Birega Vino Hova Sim? Oh, Nivana Mascama sits an amit there, no sharero, Birega Vino Hova Sim. Nanga never will ever say the Mutuera Ho will be no Mari. She might say she'll papa so messa. I read Navacogin is sent over the fact that Honeva and Duva, Burawa, no, Niva Hatagera, Rumasa, Vata. Ladies and gentlemen, mourners, you are welcome. We, as old students of Namari, we come here to mourn our own. A great man, a man who loved Namari like himself, like he loved himself. So, we are here grieving at hand. But as we grieve, we want to hasten to celebrate a life well lived. This is a man who lived lifelessly. He lived to do everything in his means, in his capabilities, to serve this country. And of course, he served Naomari High School very, very, very well. Some of us had the privilege of seeing him come to Naomari High School when he was a minister. 
But if he was in school, you would not see a minister. You just saw a very simple man. Actually, at best, you just saw a very simple sports man. So those are the things that we are here to grieve about. We, we know that many of you also share very fond memories of the fallen gallant Navumarian we associate with you. We challenge ourselves in the field of education Navumari has gone down. But it is it is with, with a heavy heart that we stand here, especially when we are mourning a man such as this, a professor. How many professors can Navumari raise today? That is the question that challenges all of us as Navumarians. I'm challenging us, ladies and gentlemen, that we have got a big job to do. First of all, to work for Navumari, but by and large, we have to work uh, to make this country better. There's something that has gone wrong with this country. There is something that has gone wrong in the education of this country. We have but ourselves uh, to work to revive this country. Thank you very much for listening to me. God bless you. Well, thank you, uh, NOSA, all the students. Uh, next, we are having a, a representative of people living in the diaspora. People living in the diaspora, the representative. Please come forward. Thank you, Nabumari. And we are happy that Nabumari is reviving. It is coming into its old uh, glory. And very soon, it will, it will start producing more professors and doctors and engineers. We are there. There is a good pace so far. Yeah, thank you, Co MC. I want to request the fellow mourners that if we give the microphone to speak to us. I want you to bear in mind that we are behind the shape because of rain. And I want you to take heart, understand with us, as you manage time. It would be bad manners for us to say stop there. Because other mourners have come from very far abroad and beyond. So they would like to go back, we request. If there is no representative from uh, diaspora, we move to the next. Before somebody comes in to speak, there's a condolence message from the Wandobire family. And the Dr. Andrew Nangalama of Wuloba Murian Maclan has conveyed uh, condolences to the family of Let Masate. And they closed his one million shillings. Thank you, wonderful family. Thank you. As we proceed, if the representative from diaspora are not here, we are moving very fast to Bakomosi, who worked with him. In the case you are here, please rise to the microphone. Nabumari High School also has a message, the bereaved family, and the, the signed by the head teacher of the school, Wevoya Herbert Natsami, and I close is 100,000 shillings. Thank you. Uh, if the Bakomos are still preparing, we would like to listen to his here. Yes, Thank you. Bali mwezi na mashesele Mwanya la kuita kuhulila hone husi ku ku kusasili la twera msale wefe era muri wefe yuno Kana ngani hotiro mosibili sitaru mulusungu we huba kunywa na translating wa kombozi bishoshi wa kombozi 
Kukomboa is to retrieve, to bring back. And if I say somebody saw it a Patrick, never move so low. Well, some of my really, Gahuakahu, Sahamin, Gahuamede, Hurumu, Uganda, Kumakwa, Samu, Kumu, Mukenzi, Wahu, Halata, Kahua, Sita, Anna, Nihilo, Uwanari, Hurusaho, Amin. Nakumi <laughs>
As we proceed, we expect a, uh, a representative from Kenyatta University to be here with us. The next, after that, we shall have uh, Honorable Gariwango, who has been with the late in Kenya and working day and night, collaborating with all gov both governments to ensure that the body is delivered here. They have tried so much, we'd like him to say something along with So, therefore, I want to invite, I want to invite representative from Kenya, Kenyatta University to address the mourners. Before he comes in, members receive this uh, message from Lucia. As he comes. As he comes. Yeah. Lucia and the company advocates, this is found and brought to one post office close Kokonjeru behind the Kilo Microfast building in Mbari. Uh, they are conveying their condolence message to the mourners and uh, they have been close 200,000 towards burial expenses. Signed, Lucivia and the company advocates. Thank you. Thank you. We have been told that the research of Kenyatta University is not yet here. Still on the way, the journey is very long. Uh, I have been advised that the representative of the government of Kenya is not going to speak now because there's a representative of the government of Uganda who is going to harmonize the two. We therefore invite the uncle from Bungoho to speak to the mourners from the mother's side. Yes, your uncle, you're both welcome, but let's also receive me a condolence message from the family of Kanoni Says Mungati of Manafa Town Council, Manafa District. Uh, has then closed 500,000 towards burial expenses and decided by Kanon Says Mungati. So, thank you. Ari kuyayu, kwa wani na ye, era 
So I want you to go along with that. Each of that party should be ready now. Uh, thank you so much, MC. There is also a condolence message to uh, to Miss Susan Hainza and the family. This is from uh, Kampala Senator Hotel. And they're saying, may the good soul of the deceased rest in eternal peace and the Lord's grace and blessings be upon you and your family. This message is signed by Jude Tumwine, Human Resource Officer of Kampala Serena Hotel, and I enclose is 1,400,000 shillings. MC, what next? Family representative, I have already mentioned. But I'm told the family representative from the Mutoro wife also is around. Please. The two should harmonize quickly and we go ahead. The mic is here. Fellow celebrants, and it's a celebrant because we are celebrating the life of our dear son in law, dad grandfather and great friend, the late Professor Masete Kuya Patrick. Um, Dr. Rosalind Kavasita Nyamtale, leading the team from the Kaitirima family, where the late wife, Adele Teresa, hailed from. I have come with others. I think they can stand there for recognition. Bagasa Patrick, 
Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Uh, Professor Patrick Masete Kuya was a son in law, as I was saying, grandfather, a great friend, and a dad. And his five children were born by the late Auntie Adjeri. Adjeri Ahanayaka. Professor Patrick has been a great friend of the family who had passion for improving all lives around him. Growing up and interacting with him, he was a great mentor to all of us in the family. He would make sure that he visits all the family, friends, and relatives of Adeli when he would come to Kavarole. And you wouldn't even imagine that he was a minister because he would blend with everybody in the community. And that was our dad, Patrick. He had such a welcoming heart that when we would visit him in Nairobi, he would give us the best hospitality that you would ever imagine. And every time we would visit him, I will miss this, we would take him his greatest delicacy, the granuts. And he taught us all how to prepare that delicacy. And I remember even the last I visited, he took us all around, showing us the medicinal plants, the crops around. But most important, he had the love and care. At that time, when I was even a country director for Sasakawa African Association Uganda, he gave me pocket money as we said goodbye to each other. And that was Patrick, our dad. We all know he has been a great professor and statesman. Love for education cannot be gone. We cannot miss that out. That's when he opted, when he left Uganda, to continue supporting education through lecturing at the university. He brought development to his people of Mbale and the country at, at large. As we celebrate his life, let us keep his legacy of a good statesman, hardworking, a good mentor, a father who loved his children, and they assured that they all went to good schools. And this I know they will testify. And he instilled ethics of responsible citizens to whoever they would be in touch with. We shall miss you, Professor Dear Patrick, our son-in-law, dad, and friend as the Kaichirima family. We thank God for his gift of life that we have enjoyed till God called him to be with him. We are representing the Kaitirima family within Uganda and within the diaspora, and they have all sent their condolences. We shall remember, we shall keep all the good memories that we had when we, had, we were with our dear friend and dad. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you, Mama. Mama uh, Kariharo, yes, Mama Horis, is one of Fonera, MOP or Bongoho Central, Honorable Richard Iwanda, and we cut the Kubashi from Parliament, Anya Hotel. We take it the honor to recognize uh, Fred Lisa, son of Dr. Wamarua from Kenya. He has come, he's with us. You are welcome. We also recognize the arrival of Joseph Wetangura, the brother to the Speaker of Kenyan Parliament. He's with us. You are welcome. Uh, as we move at an appropriate time, 
We shall ask Joseph Wetawula to say something uh, as our relative from Kenya. And uh, we, we have uh, the clan leader at this time who is expected to invite the heir to the family of Muzei Waliaura to say something. That's the order. Okay, I am being briefed that Dr. Wanga from Kenya has arrived and I think we can now invite him to speak to us. Dr. Wanga, wherever you are, you are welcome. Plus the delegation that you have come along with, we thank you for really bracing all of this bad weather, but you have arrived here. Please, welcome. Slightly down there so that everybody can see you. We thank you for having us. The family of the late Dr. Patrick Masete Kuya, distinguished guests and mourners, my name is Dr. Wanga Christopher. I'm a Kenyan. You all appreciate that uh, the late Dr. Kuya from 1985 has been part of the Kenyan family. And as I stand here, I'm part of the Kenyan family that has lived with him through his children through his working life, and before I say anything, I wish to invite a student of Dr. Kuya and his colleague in Kenyatta University, where they taught together to greet the mourners, Dr. Manyasa. Fellow mourners, the family of Mze Kuya. My name is Emmanuel Manyasa. Uh, Dr. Kuya taught me economics in Kenyatta University. Then I worked with him in the Department of Applied Economics as a lecturer when I finished. And he treated me like his son uh, because I spoke the language he could understand and I could understand the language he spoke. So when we were in the university, he treated me like his son. We will miss him, and we are here to say we stand with the family. We wish you God's blessings as you go through this difficult time. Thank you. We also have one of Dr. Kuya's best friends, and uh, actually the man who was very close to him, even on his deathbed. That is none other than Professor Obere. Unfortunately, due to health challenges that we all know, he's unable, he was unable to make it, but to escort his best friend, Dr. Kuya, his wife came to join you, please wave. And uh, he had a tribute which I want to invite the son of Professor Obere to read on his behalf. Hello, uh, my name is Clifford Obere, the son to Professor Almadio Obere. Okay, so on behalf of Professor Kuya's friend in Kenya, on behalf of, Dr. of Professor Kuya's friends in Kenya and my immediate family, I take this solemn moment to convey condolences to his extended family and friends in Uganda. 
Indeed, this is a day like no other, a day that we wish never to happen again, through deep in our hearts. We all know that mankind will forever participate in this con consequence of an act that happened in the Garden of Eden many years ago. It saddens me that I cannot witness the burial of my friend, that I have to channel my feelings through cold paper that hides my emotions, feelings, and tears. However tough, however tough situations call for innovation, so I hope this message will do. To the family of Professor Kuya, you will always be my family. There are those, there are those I have not met physically, but from my friend's description, I can pick you from the crowd. He was fond of you that we celebrated every single achievement. We followed Helen's rugby and hockey matches, and you and Nathan was on top in rugby. To his friends, it's not too late to be friends. I don't have any request to his enemy, because he never had any. Professor Kuya was too quick to forgive, for those of us, and for those of us still having the luxury of existence, the only fitting honor we should accord this fallen hero is to live up to his principles of honesty, integrity, commitment to family, and love for his country. That's from Professor Almagyobe. Thank you very much. On my own behalf and as a team leader of this uh, delegation, I wish to also most sincerely bring our condolences to the family and the relatives, the neighbors of Professor Kuea. It's quite unfortunate that uh, we didn't come here in his life, but God has a purpose for everything. What I wish to assure you, assure the family, that especially Wanda, Nathan, Irene, all the children of Zekuya, you guys met some of us to meet a great man. And uh, for the Ugandan mourners, death has stolen from us, but Thank you very much. Your son was such a blessing to the Kenyan community that interacted with him, especially some of us. And from our hearts of hearts, please accept our condolences and we celebrate his life. 1946 and today are not few years. We would have loved him to live on, but uh, God's will is the best. So for us, from Kenya, that's where we had to come and join you to tell you that uh, your loved son has had many friends and I always treated myself as his Kenyan family. You know, Kuya's uh, children came to work back home and being a very friendly man, he also needed uh, children there. so. Wanda will tell you that uh, he happily adopted me and my babies and every time he visits uh, the house behind Safari Park, uh, he will put you on the swing. Uh, you know, this is Mze, but he uh, will put the children on the swing and show them how to be happy. So he had all his levels of interaction. When he would like to leave his place, he knows you are a young man and it is Saturday. They will quickly want to offer you what you're going to look for in the next stop. So you would have everything you would want from the net, queer, happiness, advice, and even food. So we as the Kenyan community, Namwambia, pole, 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 Namungu, aweke, roho ya muze, mahalipema, peponi. Asante sana. Thank you very much for representing the Kenyan community. We appreciate. Papa KMC. Abe ni bahu wa MSG wa Kenya kwa mafuna. Chairman wa Nara Mwemba aliyatenga Division Mayor Muhammad Masaba. 
kwa nyara wewe tao kikata hokoka kwa nyara we now invite the clan leader and we have requested him to invite the heir to let wali arura to say something thank you the church chief mona fellow monas in your respective capacities ladies and gentlemen protocol observed i am known by name nahoho julius ekirani leader of bawa angatia bana afumbo where the date belong on behalf of bawa angatia bana afumbo plan on my behalf allow me officially welcome to this home for the historical send off of our dear beloved son professor patrick maseti kuya you are all welcome you are most welcome thank you coming for support the this clan uh, at this juncture may i call the head of the late abuna waliaura to come and a mourn for the rich you are welcome joshua you are welcome hurry please keep time we are time but and the wind is changing welcome hello uh the church chief mona political leaders neighbors family members clansmen neighbors and friends you are most welcome at our ceremony of our late brother our great brother we loved him and we shall really miss him uh, i want to begin by introducing the family of the late Sabnel Waliaula, where Masete is a son. Uh, whoever, whoever is from the family of Abnel Waliaula, stand up and wave to the mourners. Stand and wave to the mourners. You're welcome. Uh, Masete had 21 brothers and sisters Four of them are dead, 17 are alive. So whoever made the book was a bit mistaken, but those are um, typing errors. But my sister is surviving with the people who are going to help his children develop their area, the one who are backing his, his family. Character, our father had a character. Our brother had a character which is just born from, from his father. His father was also tough, but mostly could forgive and bring the relationship together always. He could not take it for long. Uh, our dream, the dream of our father, our, the dream of our, our brother, our brother had a big dream, as you always see. This dream is too big that we as a family, we may be unable to, to accomplish if we are not helped maybe by the friends of Masete and the government, so are we as a family, we call up the government, major the chief mourner, who has come, please, we appeal to the government to remain with us, and major to remain with the children of Masete, to guide them, to give them jobs, so that they can get money to help accomplish the big dreams of their father. As you see them, they are too big, that they may not be accomplished by themselves. So we ask the two more to deliver our message to the current government that we are behind them and we really love this government. Relationship. Masete was Masete related with everybody. During this circumcision ceremony, if Masete was here, he could dance with any group moving down and where and up. Masete was for everybody. Football. I am young, but I hear of all the people, sportsmen, they love Masete because of what he did. It is not like today, a leader who cannot even buy a ball on a, on a field in his area, but Masete could make sure his area succeeds in sports. So I could appeal to any leader who, if you call yourself a leader, please emulate, at least that's buy something. A ball, you help all these people who are moving around, they are yours. Let with everybody. Don't be so mean. Masita was not so mean, was, was not mean. But leaders of today, they even come and take the little. 
which is even the family or any other person has taken, but we appeal to you that shall you come and be with us. Uh, we have challenges as a family, but God has elevated us, and we are together, we are fighting together to see that the dreams of our brothers come true. My sister has left many unemployed people in the family. Uh, we call up that we unite together and the government helps us. But the manyala, the umis the who will care us, who will not fear, who will serve. We are the who will not fear. 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 We are the who will not we love you so much, and we wish you that you always come back home. You move with us. You sit here with your bananas. And Nasser and Eric has made a lot of bananas here. All of you have remained. You come and join them. You develop this area, and you will get employment because that is what your father wished. We pray that you the dreams of your father accomplished through you. Ah, ni nevio keni masave manjero huita kuma mirele i. Mire Mulai, Nigamurame, the most of the family are together of Nero Yaola, Nina Adela, family of asset. Mayana, we were already Musihawa Yara Mopilotin, the Iwa Angara. Ah, they had a Hacha Mumonita. Can they serve about Angatim Skanga, Kimwa, Kadeva Maskanga, Moelika Kimi Hono, Muriwan, about Angatia Sumuri? The clan, I'm request me to find the following. One, the government of Uganda for the station of the transportation of the board of the Our Lady Dear Son, Professor Patrick Masete Kuya. Thank you so much, the government of Uganda. Number two, the government of Kenya for keeping our dear beloved son right from 1985 up to the, the time God called him. Thank you so much, government of Kenya. Can this understand if you we well, are very grateful as the kinsmen of the rate. Uh, not forgetting our dear MPs of this region. Y yesterday, with, with the, uh, several of them, many of them, the stadium, thank you so much for supporting us. We would like also like to thank Dr. Kariwango, Ambassador Kenya, Papa Wanyaranavi, Mwanawe Bamba Sabu Wanyaranavi, Frank Omulebe, you know what, Papa Wanyaranavi, what are you doing with Mbiranavi? But you are grateful. You have done what Napoleon could not do. You are a wonderful man. Thank you so much. I would like to thank the Secretary General for their aim. They supported have some financial for 400 million yesterday when you were in Bali. Pass over that. Pass over that message of, of uh, appreciation to him. Say the clan is very, very, very thankful. And we are fully behind the NRM government. We shall support it fully. We shall support it fully while we're with them. Uh, in a special way, I would like to thank the RMPs. My correct student, Honorable. Papa Honorable, Peter Christophe. Papa Wanyarana, Duakwarane. Of course, not forgetting our. Of course, not forgetting our, our RDC, my way, man, of my war and pray, we have worked with you. My thank you, we do highly recognize as a clan, DPC, man, of for keeping protocol, for keeping, for implementing protocol and keeping security. Thanks very much for the good job well done. One year up and one year up. Of course, not forgetting the organizing committee being led by Chairperson LC5. Governor Kiga Jose Akimono, with Mr. Walim Pichalis Peke as a legal advisor, and the rest of the executive committees. Thank you so much. This place was a nasty place, but just as we looked at it, at least this looks a place. 
It can be counted as one of the best places in Bugorero. Thank you so much, the committee, my papa. As a clan, allow me, allow me to talk a few things about the late kinsman, Professor Dr. Patrick Massette. Patrick Massette was a clan hero, and he stayed as a hero. He was our mirror. He is our lamp. Itara Efe Asimiri. By the Bebana School, Itara Efe Asimiri. Harry Fel Sabahori. In your name, Baban, Itara Asimiri. Wahawa and the second, Oha Maman. We must get another lamp from you, the children of the eight. Masete was a promoter of culture. Three fingers in Kumabana, for the Baba and Katiba and Afu. He brought us in Fumbo in 1983 when our daughters were going astray. They were not producing. The sons were becoming a, a nuisance in the community. Kawakine Fumbeyo, Kwakolomoha, Bahanaba Sara Bulongo, Bahora Riena, Karefe was a promoter of culture. And I was down to the ground. It was a very simple man. I was a minister. It was a love of education. You young. Umundu makora sume pako wale usvara angabari Pamanedi, head damage, PhD It was really love of education Pamanedi, head damage Pwoded by, got by your age It was exemplary in his leadership It was generous to all This year we had a minister Abe Luwaka Sal Sabano Bandu badiye khafuni kumuchie nini bini Bale be manyenabe hile Kare Mbaka nukwale pune napole kereka siyo Se Finally, he was good at spreading the indiscipline. You could not hesitate to discipline if you are not with the indiscipline. Baba and this mood over my set up a yet as a common discipline, about who yet and so he discipline it, Messia, this is a bonita, our yet a band of a discipline, he was a discipline officer. We pray that they, we, as a clan, we emulate or rather copy the legacy as left behind. It's a big challenge. With the kids, man. And finally, the late Professor Masete has fought a good fight, finished the race, and gave the faith. May he so rest in eternal peace. Rest peacefully, my dear brother, until we meet again. I am Nahoho Julius, chairperson of Bawangate Kiran, a Kiran of Elites. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, the chairperson of the Elites. Co. 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 Let me read this condolence message. Uh, this is a condolence message from Mount Elgon Millers Limited, Barry Importers and Exporters Limited, uh, to the Brimley family, and uh, signed by Stephen Michael Maira Wekomba, the Chairman, Stock Managing Director of uh, Mount Elgon Millers Limited and Exporters Limited. Thank you so much. And they close a three hundred thousand dollars barrier expenses. So, what do you see, Papa? Papa, just man, we see me one year. See me, I'm not ready. More, I can't afford to get you my way. You, then go who want to go all the move in your way? You PC, one year. Yes. Thank you. One year, I'm happy. I now invite the family member to present the biography. It's a family member to speak. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, the clergy, honorable ministers, MPs, Kenyan delegation, Uganda mourners, uh, welcome to the funeral of Professor Koya. Uh, I'm Erica Wanda, the first son of Professor Koya. On my right is Nathan Mosolo. Uh, on my left is Susan Hainga, daughter. Helen Buteme has come up. Irene. And it's baby that stabbing her, so you can just wave. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, this is George. The faith, please come up. Uh, faith is next to Nathan. George is at the end. Hmm? All right. Uh, Grandies, please come and join us. Uh, uh, this is Tana Wasolo, uh, Alison Wabule, Imani, Shaka, Alvin, and Adrian. Yeah, in between Zoe and Zakaria are sleeping right there. All right, um, I was with uh, Dad in. Uh, in Nairobi, and uh, he had been sick. Um, but on uh, 1st October, uh, it became worse, and he was admitted in Nairobi hospital for about 10 days. We then transferred him to Kenyatta University Fire Hospital, uh, which is a little known hospital. Uh, it's a government hospital, but I'd like to state that it is 10 times much better than Nairobi Hospital. Uh, its facilities and care were much better, equipment much better, much better. Uh, okay, he was there for about Kenyatta University of Hospital for about four weeks, and then uh, he, he actually got better and he insisted on being discharged, which the doctors accepted. He was discharged on around 4th November. Uh, then he was at home and talking, getting stronger. Then unfortunately on 21st November, uh, his blood pressure went low and we dashed him to ICU of the Kenyatta University Repair Hospital. Um, at about 11 p.m. Uh, uh, unfortunately, they failed to raise the blood pressure and uh, he passed away at 3.15 p.m. Uh, that to us was special that. Uh, one of the things he insisted on was education and of which he educated us. Uh, even when we left Uganda and went to exile in Kenya, he ensured we went to the best schools and uh, we passed we passed well to go to the best universities and are working independently, which is something he strived to teach us. Each of us is working independently on our own, and uh, it's a request to the children of uh, Sivanga, Bale, and Uganda to work hard in their education, strive to be independent, and do not depend on your parents. Yeah? Do not depend on your parents' salary or property when you're a fully grown-up adult male man with energy to work. At least that taught us that and we have achieved that. Um, Dad was a man you fan from the 1960s. Unfortunately, none of his children were man you fans. For example, I was Arsenal, I'm still Arsenal, Nathan is Arsenal, Helen Liverpool, uh, Susan Arsenal, Irene does not care about football. <laughs> anyway, uh, so we used to communicate a lot and uh, obviously of late my was doing poorly and so we're always teasing him, always teasing him about it. And on the reverse, when Arsenal was beaten, he would understand to, to tease us. So we had a very nice sports relationship with him. Uh, he was a sportsman in his days, 
and uh, he pushed us to, to play sports. Uh, we've all played sports to top levels. Uh, for, for example, uh, Helen has played rugby for the Ugandan for the Ghana rugby team and played in the World Cup. Yeah? So we have a sister who's played in the World Cup. Uh, Irene has also played rugby for the Uganda national team. Uh, both Susan and Helen have played hockey for the Uganda national team. Uh, I played club rugby. I did not play for the national team. <laughs> uh, Nathan played rugby for both the Kenya national rugby team and then the Uganda national rugby team. So, as you can see, as sportsmen, at least we achieved that dream. Okay. Um, lastly, Dad was from the Ukrainian and uh, that made us grow in in character yeah and uh, we when we look back we are happy about it eh? uh, thank you i'll hand over to, 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 to susie to say something all right um thank you all for coming um thank you for all the on to all the honorable mps and all the dignitaries who have come to support us. And thank you all mourners for coming to be with us in this trying time. Uh, what I remember my father for is that he was a very strict disciplinarian. Uh, he wanted to ensure, despite any circumstance, that we got the best education. And we had to take our education seriously. And no matter what we endeavored in sports, our education came first. And he was very committed to our school lives. Uh, while in boarding school, he would never miss a visiting day. He'd always be there. He always instilled a pride in us in being Ugandan. Um, we had a duty to our country. This is where we're from, and we're proud of it. So as adults, when we decided to come back to Uganda, it was only natural that we come back to this home that, you know, for. I left when we were very young, so I didn't remember much of it, but it was somewhere I knew, um, it was home, and one day I had to come back. Um, he set a high standard for us. We couldn't settle for anything less than the best. Um, anything less than the best was unacceptable. We had to put the best effort in everything that we did. Um, he loved animals. Um, we kept at all matter, all sorts of animals from uh, dogs to cats. We had chicken, rabbits, turkeys, ducks at any one point. And even one day he came home with a tortoise. Um, he said he found it wandering around. So it became ours. As we had never seen um, him laying any eggs, we thought he was male and called him Humphrey. So we called Humphrey for a number of years, till one day we discovered that he was actually laying eggs, just that the dogs were eating them. So we decided to rename the tortoise Humphrieta. Uh, um, our first dog, uh, when we were living in Nairobi, was a very well-behaved dog. Um, it was best friends with a goat. And even when given the opportunity, it would never attack the chicks or anything like that. But when she had puppies, the puppies had other ideas. Any opportunity, they would eat up the chicks. And dad would be very angry with them for a while, you know. So we had to keep them away from all our other household animals. So um, I think what I learned from him was um, that importance of education. We'd have debates in my adult life about all sorts of things. So he encouraged me to debate and express my opinion and he listened me out and also provided opposing in the debate. But sometimes he'd remind me, you know, you're speaking a lot of nonsense. You know, I have been teaching economics since 1968. And I have to remember, you know, I wasn't born then and he had a wealth of knowledge. So I will miss um, having someone to ask about what happened here and he'd give me the exact history, the exact year and the date about 
almost anything, whether it happened in Uganda, in Africa, or anywhere in the world. So I miss having someone to look to when I'm seeking advice and counsel. Omkeni Omguru, Wahuru Wekanisa, Wahuru Wek Government, Barebe, Basare, Nebariwana, Mwanja La Uguitsa, Ulira Papa, Nawakani. This Usawa in Kani Hemuzungu, Mwanja La Nabi. It's okay, it's okay. <laughs> To all our guests, starting with our chief guest, Dr. Honorable Ureti Chitutu, to our brother and friend, Honorable uh, Minister Musa Ichweru, to the President UPC and uh, Secret Big Brother Jimmy Akena, to all the members of parliament, ministers, I'm sorry if I've not recognized you, to the area leaders, starting with our LC5, who has been very instrumental in helping us, to our RDC, to our DPC, and anyone I've missed out, all family, friends, relatives, all protocols duly observed, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. On behalf of the family, I'd like to thank all of you for coming to support us as we said of our father. I know many of you have traveled from far, and I'm sure I would have been very happy to see you all together. As a young man, just like most boys I grew up with, my father was a giant, a heroic figure, and a moral campus. Growing up, Dad always insisted on us working hard with honesty and integrity. During this period, we've had so many stories about Dad and his achievements, and the theme that runs throughout is that he was a resolute and compassionate leader who wanted to make a better le life for his family, his community, his country, and beyond. Although death is inev inevitable, and Dad has been ailing for a while, we are still not yet prepared for his departure. I always have had a dream that he would return and be around to provide wide counsel for much longer. However, that was not meant to be, and he went to make it, meet his maker on the 22nd of November of this year. I'm happy to inform you, especially the clergy, that dad became saved over 10 years ago, and he has been a faithful participant in church activities. Many have talked about dad's achievements and the need for someone to take his place. As children, we want to pledge to continue to try and fill his large shoes. He had a lot of dreams and ideas for home and the country, and we'll work together to try to achieve them. One thing I need to tell you is that this home and compound were in a much better state than when we left over 30 years ago. It is very sad that not only have things deteriorated, but the ones who were expected to look after his things have not only destroyed them, but been hostile to us coming back to rebuild our home. I don't want to say a lot by the fact that we are here with the clan, the community, and area leaders is a sign of where the truth lies. As I conclude, I would like to thank the government of Uganda for assisting with transport and funeral arrangements. We are grateful to His Excellency President Museveni and the area MPs and Minister Honorable Rech Kitutu and Honorable Peter Welihe for coordinating our efforts. We are also greatly assisted by His Excellency Dr. Hassan Gariwango, the High Commissioner uh, Uganda to Kenya. Thank you very much. We really, really appreciate it. By the time we're approaching the High Commission to inform them, we're just expecting to receive letters allowing us to bring back that. But we're very happy that the government uh, gave us a contribution that assisted in us bringing him and also hosting such a large group. We would not have been able to do it without the support. We also want to thank the local area leaders, starting with the RDC patients, with the LC5 Chigai. DPC Waiswa for securing the area and encouraging us to prepare in peace. There were rumors I'm here, I'm sure you've heard, I think there was even a news, uh, newspaper article claiming there are some people who are claiming that he should not be buried here and he will not be buried here. I remember a family friend, uh, Honorable Wanjusi Wasieva, calling me and saying he thought there would be chaos and uh, because of that he had, uh, he had uh, engaged the local security headed by the RDC to give us protection. I'm grateful for that, but uh, what I didn't tell you is uh, maybe you should not have brought them so that we sort out some of these issues locally. <laughs> okay. 
I would also like to thank the bishops of Mali and North Mali for taking the time. You're all very busy people. You were with us yesterday and you're with us here today. We thank you very much and we really appreciate you coming here. Um, there are numerous friends and relatives who have come to assist us. And unfortunately, I cannot name all of you. However, I want to name just a few. Not, not that there are others who have not done as much, but these ones really stand out for the length of time. I would like to recognize Mr. Kolya Nahataba, also known as Prophet. This is a gentleman I, we got to meet in the 80s, as he mentioned. He was dad's permanent, uh, uh, personal assistant. But that did end there. They worked together for five or six years. And then from there, when we moved to Nairobi, he uh, was fortunate after some time he got an inter international job, which would allow him to come to Nairobi relatively frequently. And he would always make sure to check on dad. Even when I left uh, Kenya and came and back to Uganda, I would know when he visited. Dad had a very interesting habit of changing phones every one and a half to two years and forgetting the old ones and not telling anyone. But somehow he would call me and tell him, this is my number, and be careful who you give it to. <laughs> but with Uncle Prophet, there was no need. You would call me and say, hey, I'm in town, and I get to speak to your dad, and I would say, okay, here's the new number. And that relationship has continued up to date. He's been our friend. He knew when he was not well. He's actually helped us with a lot of this organization. So Uncle Prophet, thank you very much. I also want to thank my Kuka George. He was here earlier. Kuka George is my dad's uncle. He's the one from Bungoho. And he's really, really been instrumental to the family. They work together here. And even me, when I was coming back to Uganda and uh, I sensed a bit of a not very friendly welcome, Bungoho became my second home, which it should be because it is my grandmother's side of the family. And uh, that's where I spend a lot of time. And thank you very much. Lastly, we have. Uh, in this, there are two friends I need to mention. These are both relatives and friends, but they also went on to be very valued workers. One of them is still with us, Patrick Wamutu. I don't know where Patrick Wamutu, Patrick Mamutu Mabosi. And the next one is the late John Hisa. As I mentioned, we left here in 1985. The first time I came back and started trying to reclaim uh, what was ours was in 2006. And these gentlemen had kept faithfully all the records, including acreage and boundaries of 16 pieces of land. And because of them, I have been able to get all titles. So some of those making noise claiming they have here are really not, I really don't know what they're talking about, but we shall miss them when we miss them. So, by the way, as they're here complaining, they're actually in the court. They're on Tuesday, they're looking for a court injunction. And I actually waved at them because I knew that uh, the judge was going to postpone the case. So when they say that uh, the clan leaders are the ones who are frustrating them, they've been to the court, they've been to the DPC, they've been to the RDC, they've been to witch doctors, but we're still here. <laughs> so thank you very much, all of you. Thank you very much for coming. We really, really appreciate. And I promise you we are not going to stop coming here. You, as you can see, we have already started coffee. I'm on this side, Eric was on the other side. We have big plans to become the leading coffee producers in Manafa. So we ask you please to support us. We have here our area leaders, but also the local community are very important. We really wish that you can welcome us. As you can see, my Lugis is still a work in progress, but it was Yakukania. So to our father, I say, go oh well. Until we meet again, we will all miss you. May your soul rest in the eternal peace. Bye, Dad. Uh, thank you so much, our family. I think the message is taken. Please, members, take his message serious. Uh, members, you are still conveying condolence messages, and this is from the family of Red Twai Mutete. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Bishop, for coming. Members, uh, we have a condolence message from uh, Chris Matembu, encloses 50,000 shillings, and uh, that one of Tribe Mutete, also. Uh, Condolence of 50,000 shillings. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Let's receive a condolence message from Ms. Doka Sokaranyi Wagiva, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Lands, Housing and Urban Development. Uh, she has conveyed her condolence to the family and she has enclosed one million shillings. Remember, members, uh, she's a proprietor of Mapo Cottages just along Mbale, Iganga Highway, is a good place to relax. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I want to invite the clan leader who is going to give us the biography. Please come forward and do it. As we prepare to listen to the RDC, we expect the chairperson in RM, the chairperson in C5, and the UPC party president to speak. Thank you very much, Mana MC, the church, all mourners present, and all dignitaries in your research capacities. I am Nicholas Ngoho, the chairman of the Boangatia Bana Fumbo clan, who is going to read the biography of Professor Patrick Masate Kuya. Date of birth. He was born on 25th January 1946. Parents. His father was called Waliaula Abneri, who is the lad. The mother. Mutoni Waliaula Abisachi from Wungoho. She's led. Clan. Batiro Bawangatia Banafumbo. Circumcision. The man underwent the Vagis rituals or culture in 1958. Education. In 1954 to 1958, he was in Tomata Primary School from P1 to P4. In 1958 to 1960, Bubulo Mixed Primary School, P4 to P6. In 1961 to 1962, the Umari Junior Boarding School. 1962 to 1966, Naumari High School, where he attained ordinary level and advanced certificate. Later, he was selected to play for Bugisho District and the Eastern Region. In 1968 to 1971, he was at Makerere University for Bachelor of Economics. And by there, he was chairperson Eastern Students UPC branch. In 1973 to 1975, he was at the University of Jerusalem for MBA Economics. In 1978, he joined the Institute of Development Studies at the University of Sussex. Well, at Kenyatta University, he attained PhD in Economics, Marriage Life. His beloved wife was Teresa, Ahana Haka, who is led all the way from Toro, Fort Porto. Children. He had nine, but eight are still living. Grand children, he had eight. Brothers and sisters, he had 21. Four passed on, then 17 alive. Working history. MP Ugisu Southwest, 
Minister of Rehabilitation and Obedient Regime. In 1984 to 1985, Chairperson National Council and Sports spearheaded the construction of Mbale City Stadium. 1980 to 1985, UPC National Treasurer. 1981 to 1985, member of Makere University Council, and 1984, he led Ugandan Olympic team to Los Angeles in the United States. 1993 to 2001, he was at Kenyatta University, senior lecturer in Applied Economics Department, until he retired on 31st May 2021 achievement. He brought Islamic University to Mbale. He also brought Colony Hospital Nakaloke in Mbale. He spearheaded many schools, especially in the Ugis region. Sickness. Just as Eric mentioned, he suffered from process cancer and hypertension. Appreciation, we appreciate all mourners present, all dignitaries in your respect capacities, and all people of goodwill. I thank you so much. May the soul of my brother, Professor Masate Kuya, who has been a hero a mentor, educationist, raised in town of peace. Amen. Thank you so much, brother, for the biography. Ladies and gentlemen, lost and found property. I have two kids here. You can get them as long as you present your identity at no cost. Come for them now. Thank you so much, OMC. I now take the honor to invite the RDC of this district. After that, I expect the chairperson in NRM Manafa district to be on standby. I expect the chairperson LC5 to be on standby. And thereafter, we shall receive the president of UPC to speak to the monarchs. Thank you so very much the Master of Ceremonies. I'm called Patience. I'm the Resident District Commissioner and I'm Michel Zinambale. I'm the President of this place. <laughs> Baba Bishop and Oro Protocol observed. Nathan, you have energized me. I thought you are not man enough, but you have shown me that you are man enough. I'm going to support you. Yeah. I want to take this uh, opportunity to thank God for this day that he has made. It's a wonderful day. And I also want to thank, in a special manner, Dr. Kaluango, thank you so much for doing that. You deserve another time. I want to thank the political team from Ugisland. You have done us proud. You know, now you are getting to eat my chief mona. That when an issue concerns Bugisu, you come up as a team and you do it. Thank you so much. I want to thank the president of UPC. I went to school in St. Catherine Boroboro, and uh, that time when he went, I had been taken to Dr. Obote College. For us in that school, I would not pay fees Bugisu Cooperative Union said they had paid my fees 
And I called my father and I said, I cannot pay. We used to pay 1,500. And uh, that time there were basket shoes. So my father told me, you can buy basket shoes for being a faithful girl. Masete kuya said, the Wagisu girls have brought the bursaries. And we saw him the first time. And he picked all of us. And he walked with us. And we are so proud to associate ourselves. But it was so short a time. Nathan has mentioned it. This family needs prayers. A lot. But Nathan, you have made it. And they have heard. We don't have the real siblings of Patrick here. They are just across there. Sarah and Peter have not attended their brother's burial. I told them I would lock them. And they called all the media people coming up to my office. I told them I will not allow insecurity in the district where I'm leading. Sarah came in a meeting and assured me that Masete would not be buried here. I want to thank the clan of Masete. Thank you so much for having one voice. Kindly help the children of Patrick to come back home and develop this. For me, as long as I'm a resident district commissioner, and the presidentship of ANRM, I'll support these children. Come back home. For us, our president has empowered women. That's why you find the speaker is a woman. The vice president is a woman. My Goretti is a woman. And the RNC is a woman. I want to thank my team, the security team. DPC, you have done us proud. Each time they would talk, I would deploy, and they would bring the media people. I want to thank the media people. They would also find out, they would call me and find out, and we would tell them the truth. Thank you, Chairperson Five. He was the chair of the committee as uh, my Goretta and the team and Honorable Erike were mobilizing, we are the ground team. It would have been, not been possible for us to be here if you had not done the mobilization. Mama Sababa, MP, a politician, you have made us proud. We are going to walk with our head raised up. Everybody was wondering whether this gallant son of Mama Sababa was going to be brought back. But you did it, and you received the body. I expected Sarah and Peter to move with the body of their foreign brother. But they were not there. I'm proud to talk about it. Because they will not come to my office. But I, I can still work with them. The office of the RDC is open to them if they want a reconciliation with the family. For me, I'm a saved woman. I'm a born again. My work is to reconcile. I'm a president of Mother's Union, North Mali Diocese. So I welcome everybody, whoever comes to the district. I want to tell this family to help the children of Patrick to take over fully, without fear of ever, the property of their family. <laughs> the children of Patrick come back home. East to West, home is the best. Know your family and belong to family. Families come out of families. Your father had a huge heart. I don't know you, but you are here. We have welcomed you back. I want to thank the president of Uganda. When I was called that your father had died, I called the minister in charge of the presidency and I asked 
them to guide, but the team here had already done it. I want to assure the guests that Manafa is calm and peaceful. And please come back to Manafa, to the permanent secretary of, you know she owns Mapo Cottages in the Kamongoli. Please, the people of Manafa, if you have land, I've been convincing her to bring the extension of Mapo Cottages to Manafa. And she's willing, she's there. P.S. are you not ready to bring it? The, yeah. Back home. She wants to give back to the community. Thank you so very much for God and my country. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much for your words of counsel. You have said it for us. Oh, Lira, how are you? I am a member of the family. I am a member of Amongst the, the MPs, I have my student. He's here. Teachers are as old as they feel. They don't look old. That is the so other way of paying. Uh, uh, anything? I take the honor to invite the chairman NRM, Manafa District. You are welcome, Ambassador Charles Waliba Peke. It's my Umurino Mohoro. It's Papa Bishop with the team we all see. It's his family. Can you know me? We have another Fiti. We have Papa. We have Kenny Mwesi. We have Rio Vienue. We have Shase. We have Simile Manafa. Geha Kadiha, can be who was as a hesser. Is he Chachi, Papa Bishop, only Timuyo? Is he Afile, Chikuka, Randove Manafa, Savan Angamasava, Mamudum Tay, Namira in Abumari? Again, the chairman, no, I know him. When Bale attend the mayor or industrial state division in Mumbai City, uh, Nitsirano, Kuhima, Nishiku Kashino, who see her minister with a Musare or Papa, Papa Soma and Gamateno, Abana, you are UPC, uh, Arambat Kanui, Mukosima City, a lesson at Soere. Nabo mundu mukuru na manya ndi masete amire bukovero. Kwa ndwe na umari, eko amenya kuri masete kuya amena umari. Kwa kuwa ni bidu biwe bi bibi ndi biyo ina umari. And I think as I can bear witness, we have not tempered with any boundary or any piece of land. As I ninga witsire koma kanila irafa murakeli biyo musafuru. Yes, we didn't have money. Uh, it says, uh, you want to ask if I want to get a ship in a shay in a row, Nitsirano, Hubao, in Bonne, the big sir, Minister of Faith, Mukano of Faith, Mungani, whoever shares. Manya Roku Mbengabi, Nashe Saho, Baba Ndwefe, Bebu Gobe. Wanya. Nasi Mile. If you want me to know some message, I am part of the party. 
Ninge ha hole sio kana eno mendi Mwesi Mwesi muliano mwanya la kuita Kosi homa no masaba Nero me khulu nga mwana mutwera kane hano Buka gabo go Ngomsa khulu masete wa kobole no Arumari khengo bole ente so mesi abana bas Basare Buka gabo masete oni bobu wongobu so ndo kupilisa face wa masaba kumunge mumana akwile mwikele kwa hamanga wa umule ngomu saa huna umule ife wa masaba kakana kume kwa hile liliba hile ango so ni abwe nao isene saa ndo kune liliba nga meseji ya sekwe jeno we pati Mayara DC wasimle government wasimle pate side rabota we Ne kale sime nabi ipate efe ya kwele sifu anisi ai gafne kama kwa ke huro mwana masaba apile mai goreti wala singa ne ahur papula bi kwele kwele ni ubino Mine is to deliver a message of the secretary of the party. I want to read the verbatim. I am Ambassador Walimba, Masolo Peke Charles, Mwano Mutiru, Maseto Mwano Mutiru, Ifenga Bati, Hwa Firiwe, Imoni Eva Masaba, Mwano Masaba. I won't read the message. The family of late Honorable Professor Masete Kuya Patrick, Condoles message. We received with sadness the news of passing of Professor Masete Kuya. We salute him for his selflessness, service to Uganda as a Minister of Rehabilitation, Member of Parliament, National Treasurer of UPC Party and Chairman of the National Council of Sports. On behalf of the NRM Party, the spirit of iPod, and on my own behalf, I would like to offer our prof profound condolences. Professor Masete Kuya Patrick has been a peer to his family and his community. His dedicated service has been immense and shall be missed. His long service to the nation in different capacities is a testimony of his dedication. Professor Masete Kuya Patrick has departed from among us, but truly he has left us, for he will forever remain alive in our hearts and minds. His legacy, evidenced by his good deeds, will surely live on. To the entire family, relatives and friends, this has come like a shift wind, leaving all of us in grief. An integral part of you, an integral part of you has gone. No one can prepare you for such a sudden loss. Swift, it, it calls a glorious light to Professor Masete Kuya as he faded out. Your joy has gone dim. The Almighty God, who does not change, shall abide with you. May you take comfort in knowing that he is now resting in eternity for he was a good person. May fond memories of our dear Professor Masete Kuya bring you comfort during this time of grief. Let us all look back on all good memories we were, we were all able to have with him and smile at the fact that we were able to share 
this before he passed away. May the Almighty God bless and comfort the family, the, U the UPC fraternity, relatives, friends, the great people of Mbari, the Manafa district, and the Bugisu, and the Bugisu and the, 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 the Masaba people of Kenya at large during the time of grief. As they say, the one who is adored the most of adored the most by God is the one who achieves eternal life. We will miss him and cherish all the happy memories and inspirations we draw from his dedication. We enclose one million shillings as a contribution signed by Right Honorable Richard Bubuong, Secretary General of NRM. Thank you. Papa, Professor Masete Kuya, Mwanom Masaba, Kuhuro Mbera, Kukani Saluke Ndurulai, you've made us proud. God bless. Banyala Papa. ناسيمليبيشوبونيانلواتايمينغابوراي Chief Mona, and then finally we hand over the mic to you. Thank you so much for being good to us. And thank you for coming personally to be here today with your delegation. I invite the chairman, LC5, to say his more, to, to make his speech before the Monas. Thank you very much, Master of the Function. I also take this same opportunity to respect the bishop and the entire clergy. Thank you for coming to condone and as well celebrate with us at this trying moment. The chief Mona, all uh, dignitaries who are here, my friend, the Minister, Honorable Echeru, you are most welcome. You know we shall remind each other when we are somewhere else, but now, because of time, we can uh, move on. All of those honorables present and the former, I respect you. I respect all the mourners who have come to condone with us upon the loss of the gallant son of Africa, Uganda, and uh, Manafa, and especially a uh, clan of, uh, of uh, uh, I will not take long. We are grieved because we have lost somebody. You have all heard. First of all, is the son of the soil. We have to be, to come together and grieve together. Secondly, we have missed the knowledge. Imagine the whole of professor down. Four feet or six feet down, we have lost this knowledge. Completely gone, but we pray it will mushroom again uh, following the, the trend, the, the siblings. He has been a friend you have had and you have seen, a friend to many. Whoever is coming here is saying, Master has been a friend, must be, must has been a friend to everybody. Surely we have to come and mourn for a friend. Uh, Honorable, 
Akena, I knew today when we mourn Honorable Masiti, I expected many UPCs to be here. Many. That's why I said, uh, let me put a small color also to support. So that people know that we are also around. <laughs> but thank you for coming. I thank all members of UPC who are here. That song I heard of it a long time ago, when I was uh, 19, 19 years. In fact, Masete was the first person to receive my vote in my life, because I had clocked 19. That's, that's when I was registered to vote. That song was very good. Baba Masaba. So, thank the UPC members. Uh, we have lost somebody who wanted, who, who, who was advocating for peace. Was advocating for peace. I remember very well when Masete was, uh, had gone, had crossed to Kenya, he advised his followers. He said, please, if your mother has been chased away, but uh, your father has brought another mother, who is not bad, he's giving you food, he's giving you everything. Why should you rebel against that mother who is good? Says the NRM, under the wise leadership of her, uh, His Excellency Joel Kagutam Seven, who is a good mother, is there. Please go and enjoy what your mother gives you. Don't make, don't organize any conflict. So those people came back. They thought Masset was going to organize a rebellion when he was across. No, he said, no, we want peace. Go and eat from the kitchen of your mother who is there now. That's why we have come to mourn for somebody who was advocating for peace. Uh, can I switch in your house with Ivama Saba? This is for Ivama Saba. Banduba Mirari, the Bulimundu, a river, see Rebo, Bamasavas in a Mohadimo to it. Bulimunda Rebo, Bulimunda Rebo, Bamasavas in Sinasiba Tambis. Urupama, who ring a home, Billy Huru, 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 because he talked and everybody had. Maybe you know how Ulirata. The <laughs> What's wrong with you? Everything, Kafuyo, Kafuyo, Kafuyo. What's happening? What is going on? Sina, Bama Savana, Nua Baroka.
kali ninao se senga umana enye kigai hose kimono ya paso ni mara fenga tana setiza na tsatu era ku komisa babana na le khate senga kasandi bale be bakhole bino ni baba risa risa papo enye but for us we are peaceful when the rem government has brought peace and unity then they just used to threaten their father ah when you come they are, they are going to kill you going, no so please speak it from today be firm come back and build your home nobody should threaten you ama saba go ke bodile bo bi bo sulini nabo ngo manyore ri ni simile ga go sirusa e mura fukumani na sho umuzani mtu era ri ana ndegira ro ki swari ngo manyore ri ni rifa ku mwenye kwa hapo mura ku ro khenyo ha ni langa kit ku ro kana ba khali bona ta ku mwenye kwa hapo mura ni asi aba munda ro ma eno msa ku yenyu ke manga kit Papa aba khina bulai papa ni hara mina manyire siko sisho So ngo manyoro lini bubi akama bubi ba kameni wa mwene wa mwene manya bubi bwono hamba bubi wa wa rusero na fubandu bose ba kumanyata why should you expose your hydrocell when you when you when you have already hidden it continue hiding it until the decision will remove it so ni na abasali basiye mba komisa mukhaba mo bore ta itsanga go siyera gore se se gore se re so go se na mogale he itsa mo no manye ri so dio se basali ka sto tamba ho u nyola si kale sha tsi uri witsa rundu nyola bibili uri witsa rundu nyola 10 meters Kali sibatu let please start from today sit come and home come home and construct your home may the right might god bless everybody who has come and the same god rest our son our brother in a good eternal life god bless you thank you so much dear yeah, pastor Ero si fai mana fa district. Kwa msi. Kwa njala papa. Yes kuchele. Eko la sisi message. Uh, this is from Fred na Mkonde. Adi join na Buzale. Kwa living in the US and the UK. They are OGs of Damari High School. They have contributed 100,000 shillings. Thank you. Another message is coming from James Magode Kuya, the Minister of State for East African Assembly from Chemsa Victor Wanyote has contributed 300,000 shillings towards barrier expenses thank, thank you but even though when we say go we sing gira ko tikiyi i take the honor to invite none other than the president of UPC to come and mourn you are welcome go congress of the people oh
in this sad moment and to deliver our condolences to the family and the people of Bugisu for the loss of a gallant son of Uganda. I was able to speak in the church in Kampala and I made it clear as far as I was concerned, I grew up knowing Masete Kuya as my uncle. It is only later in life I realized that there's no blood relation, but that relationship was deeper and it is rooted right in my very being, in my very substance. I described some of our childhood memories and there are some which I may be able to share with my younger brothers here because they were a little bit younger than me which I think would be enriching. But I need to put it on record. It is painful and it hurts where you hear a son or the children possibly being denied their birthright. This is unacceptable. In no culture can you really deny your own kith and kin. And more so, when we're standing here, and here I want to paraphrase a bit, and let me speak to my brothers and sisters. Your father's house has many rooms. It is up to you to make those rooms habitable. And I would like to come here at a later date and have at least a cup of coffee from your garden. This is your home. Everywhere you've been in this world, this is the final place. And I'm glad that this is going to be the resting place for my uncle Masete Kuya. Those who have doubted, those who have said whatever, we're all here to witness the laying of my uncle's body in the ground. And we'll all remain witnesses. We were here, we witnessed, and we want to come back and share happier moments with you in your home. I have gone through some difficulties also of those of us who've grown up outside. There are things which people did. I've been able to share a little bit with, uh, with Nathan. But we had hoped when we were sharing that Masete Kuya will come back alive such that we can solve some of these issues before it reaches this level. But believe me, I have some great ideas. Nobody's going to push you out. As long as we're there, as long as we know, this is your home. If there's anything, those of us who are able to, and I'm sure you've had the assurance from those in government, you, you will always have a home here. There are certain things in life which may be difficult, but also can prove a blessing in time. I'm one of those who was born in Uganda, exiled in Tanzania, came back to Uganda, studied in Kenya, went to Zambia. So I consider myself in very many ways an East African. As we move forward and the consolidation of East African Federation, you'll find yourselves two steps ahead of everybody else. Because this is part of your heritage, it's part of your upbringing, it is part of your life. So some of the things which um, have happened, I have come to learn God is not somebody of accidents. Everything that has happened happens for a reason, and that reason, once you stand in the will of God, will work for the benefit of, 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 of all of you uh, going forward. One point I want to touch on, and this one captures some of the aspects of the life of Maseta Kuya, is us in Congress have certain beliefs which are fundamental to us. Issues of education. And when it comes to Masete Kuya, he looked at the wholesome education. Not only the academics, but also the physical aspects of education. And therefore, it was not by accident that he was the Minister of Rehabilitation, but also the Chair of National Council of Sports. I have had people talking, and I want to thank um, the RDC for standing firm, and also as an OG of Dr. Botte College. The dream of UPC is quality education everywhere. So when we sing UPC everywhere, UPC everybody, there's a message behind that, me that, that, that slogan. Ours is that everybody, everywhere in Uganda,
Uganda should have an entitlement to quality education. As we have gone through this issue, I've heard the OPs of Nabumali talk about Nabumali. I also heard the OPs, including the area MP of Busoka Kole Mwiri, talking about Mwiri. I have heard the RDC talk about Dr. Boto College. Our dream, and this is the dream for my fathers, is that every Ugandan should be able to access quality education everywhere in Uganda. There are people who talk about those schools. There will be others talking about Ntare, others talking about Kigezi College, others talking about all sorts of colleges. But as Ugandans, as UPC, we want those colleges to be able to rise and shine and deliver that quality of education that we were able to give to someone like Masete Kuya. That when you launch yourself, if wherever you go in this world, you will be able to contribute effectively. That is a dream which we've inherited. So if you're worried about the science, the house, some of the dreams as Congress are massive. But those of us who believe in the Congress, we believe in the ideal. And we shall stand by it. We shall work for it. We shall do everything we can for it. And I have no difficulties appreciating where appreciation is needed. And here I want to thank the government of Uganda for the support and the care which was given from the time when Maseta Kuya fell ill to his passing and his big body being brought home. There I am not ashamed to go on record. Thank you very much. <laughs> Maseta Kuya contributed to this country. His record remains clear. And as such, I believe it's an entitlement, but I must appreciate when the government steps up and did what they did, when I get the chance, I would like to convey my personal appreciation to the President for the contribution they made. I will also make my appreciation to the NRM Secretariat from the note which the Secretary General said. I also want to appreciate the Speaker of Parliament for the support which they also gave to make sure that we were able to go through this process without, um, I mean, as, as best as possible. I had mentioned earlier that as Congress we are going to try and do our level best. And we have also been able to put together some condolences. We are running two um, collection points. There are some which I've got from uh, members of parliament. I'd like to mention their names. Betty Amongi, Mrs. Aken, in other words, contributed 500,000. Santa Lumogwang, the MP for Oyam District, 200,000. Patrick O'Chan, MP for Apart Municipality, 100,000. Kenya Mua, uh, Auma, MP for um, Kwania District, 100,000. Max Akora, MP for Maruzi, also the treasurer of UPC, contributed 200,000. Vincent Okomoit, Little City West, 100,000. And Alan Atugonza, who is an NRM member of parliament, but a close friend, uh, MP for Polisa, contributed 100,000 shillings. Then we have another collection from the office, where there's some contribution which came from, um, from the United Kingdom of 100,000 from George Okello, and then Harold Achema, ambassador, 50,000, and therefore brings a grand total also from the party secretary, and from our own behalf, we bring a grand total of 5,450,000. continue to uphold this family and grant Maseta Kuya eternal rest. Thank you so much, thank you. We've been listening to the party president, UPC, and I therefore take the honor to recognize 
Honorable Ambeshe, who was also just arrived. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Yeah, he looks like red. Is it UPC? Or, but he knows himself. It's red. This red is confusing. <laughs> for them, they are very clear. I want to invite the Honorable Member of Parliament from Buru County West to play his role during this time of mourning our brother. Uh, my Mulisu Mohoro, Papa Bishop, Naki Nevame Ali, Yambi, Gasil Mutia, Ibrahim Sek and Abusa Vashas, my colleagues, members of Parliament, can you step forward? Members of Parliament of Ergon region or in other who has come. Members of Parliament. Papa Muruba and Barivo. Gana. Can it turn the new? Whatever <laughs> Pour Patrick Baba de Mali, Baba de Bale Stadium, Islamic University in Uganda, Baba de Vinu Bikai, referring to members of Parliament, Baba de Sawei, Shifua Likata, Kubanakuri, Kurambage Gumonio, is Kumira for the House Shindu, Shirachu Kasachi for Muda, Yamuka Kanahuka Kasa for the Nabanga, went to the movie Yaranga, Huri Huri, Kasa, and Kirakuma Hunter and the Chisinza. Government <laughs> County He was a great friend of my late dad. I remember in 1982, he visited us twice. My dad was a strong UPC supporter, was the chairman of the whole uh, sub county. And I remember him very well with a team of other ministers. While he was in my father's house, he requested them to kneel down and pray for our family. And he did prophesy that one day, in the family of my little dad, there would become a great man from, the, from our family. By then, I was in P2. I was in P2. 
So here as I mourn, I'm testifying. Here I am. I'm an MP for the constituency. Who knows? Could have been because of the latest prophecy. So, that's uh, a Kenya. I visited him. I never remember to miss it. Now, time is a little over one house. The origin is Italy. So, Shalero, a very, very great man, great mentor, great politician, great woman, sir. Kwabane Bubina, may the soul of the late Professor PMK rest in eternal peace. Oriyo ikani sa ilo wuli na kumbaro kono. Ani baba mbali mosi tanda mumuli ano. Zena ambeshi. Ambeshi John Baptist. The deputy president to a national unity platform. No. Ari ni ano munga atosi taru. Nete le kushi kila response president to a party a national unity platformu. Oh, my son, the 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 Oh, I'm going to work at it. Hey, Mumba, Umbelo, Mabusamu, Inzo, Peret. I'm going to need any harass. If you're a book, Kari, Nabi Kanishide, Mushisa, Awai, Mbarengoro. It's a good question. Where are you going to say, family? Mba, what are you going to say? Musa, what are you going to say? You want my admiration. My admiration way back when I was still in Royal Elementary, in primary school. And it was uh, my inspiration. I recommend that Mali moves in well. Anington. At Anington, he and even each other, but they are not. But now, the moves here, yo, at all, we are Momo. I have been coming so is enough. We must have a new chief. We are ready, sir. We will follow the man who will lead, including him. The roof shall be ready. See, no one is there. This is not a lie. In the hand John Patrick Masete, who is a professor, is in the hand by the way, in the book of Anatta Setitran. And then the book of Shusa, this is not a man, but we are going to end in a matter of time. I don't even know if you know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. Mereka nak nuen dalam hal nama bola red, kan? Ia musuh. Mereka orang nama muda di lima ribu siapa? Mungkin cincin muka cum. Uwe nak rokok mai? Wah, nak rokok nanda ramah fad. Ia free apa? Ia yokwe. Ia pakai ni nere muka. Kalau nak nama kau zaman muka aku nak cipri lah bayu ibu cium apa no? Besi aku sambil sama paypal. Aku boleh marum mondo, ada muda. Nari mubi sisa betul. Ada muka moyo. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. 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 Professor Aurelere. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Mwana opeto kunilena eko koro usala na akena. Dr. Aporo Milton opote. Ayo wakwa na nami by the way. Jesu ima nye. Gava ama ume ndo huli ya mwureva. Opata mwureva na kuyane na nui. Ambole na nambisho nukui. Ambole. Ambole trame. Ambole na imani wa maali mungu tulukunisi wani. Gava ume ndi ya kakishane. Oh, 
Buli mundu abaoni sinyanga jinyu kila obata kumu mwesi kutani hilo kwa aburuka. Ate ya bawe mbuka isinyange kuila. Ilo li mali kambila. Chire woshe sikwari ye huramani inasho. Ngani ima mushibala. Inde haoshi ina. Baha no meho bari na holashi ina. Baha ngani meho bari na holashi ina. Banalo mabari na yaba mulosi. Na mwe na yu aramba ni kamani. Papa yu wakwele shee hubo nela ho. Kwe kuba wale hakumu kwa makumu lai. Ulimundu amuka ni haho. Ye sakola. Chini ni mwaki mikari na chiti ya mota. Ela mwani wabu urangilisi. Gulai. Gana husi mabaye mpizi boos. Be mbuchisu. Kwe kuba ulimundu. Wale remo kumu hono. Muku yeta kumu horoku. Ela nde rofu isonesa. Wabu bahari ota. Kona remo nandala. Mwabu lile. Na ya afwisile mayuwe weba husi hasharewe. Na shireo alia nota. Arewe manaru hobo babandi. Bati ile inga aki. Ibu dadi. So ibalia nota. Nenga na huba kakasa. Ndi huli ya tuwela. Ni hona rebo welishe. Ni mai. Hona rebo Dr. Chitutu. Ena huli ya tuwela ni family. Inaka ni habikalita. Parliament. Ya kutimilila, ya kuwabu yeti, uyeta musika papaji. Munafikiri sa, nisome uwa ha, uwa mawasikiko wa parlamenti. Na yenga, yetu basa ni inafe, kumasika kafani rekari. Inatisoma anganachi handi hile, wachi handi hile muru fotu foti, mwe ruzungu, nachisoma handi. The family of the late Honorable Masete Kuya, the former minister in the Obote II regime in the Manafa district. Condolence message. I have learned with profound shock and sadness. Patriotic public servant proud to his service as people's representative and people of Ugisu and Uganda at large in mourning the loss.
mara mbili na mbili musima amene muyo kuyi mwamba kwa mwesi sima koneta kule kula iwesi papa akurambile bawe nje ulele sabe siku ya wano mwesa kuna kula liyo ta kanyo kubo kule biene bate kini meyo jastini kasa rini nje ni manja nabi mwako ni nate mufura ni manja na mwaba anga mwaku kumile ho kubila mwaku anga mwukari ho maso u ceremonies maske joni wataka bosko balebe Mwanya na kubanga, mkeni siliku mkono kuno, wakoli sano, ni kuse mandichachi kubanga yako veleno. So, imese, bimele bie nimea kusima, ni kuna matu na kusidio, ni kwe kwe na mwanya 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 Ari kwa mimi muzi na ronde ba kuhona wambari, wenyi oho kani. So, ya muzi ma kuhuka riba devasi, inesho, kana kuhu kula mene, wele, kwa dera pa apa muno, amuzi wamolo si la ina, manja la ina. Ari kana kuhu ile habino, kana kuhu ile habino, ina angi, aone minister echeru. Let me say, Jeru, to come and uh, lift your marks and invite the chief mother. The bereaved family of Papa Masatekia, my Lord Bishop, and all of you fellow mourners, I just want to start by requesting you, my Lord Bishop, to be a little patient with us because today we are sending a great man to his resting place. There will never be this occasion again. I want to say I have listened very attentively to many speakers and I am very humbled that even the team, the delegation has come all the way from Kenya. My name is Musa Ikeru. I am a member of parliament representing Amuria, one of those rural constituencies that are not even in the Google map. <laughs> but the most important thing, I am a minister responsible for roads in Uganda. Just yesterday I was telling my permanent secretary that Anywhere where there is a good road, I am responsible. But where there are potholes, they are for the peers. <laughs> so where you see all the good roads, those are mine. <laughs> but the potholes belong to my permanent secretary, <laughs> including the ones on this road. And I'm going to send him to fix them. I'm going to send him to fix them. I am from Teso, but I belong to this family. I belong to this family. And that's why when I listen to people talking about anybody trying to say that these children will not settle here, I am thinking that such a person is living in dreamland. <laughs> these children will settle here. Masete Kuya Siligaze is going to grow bigger than when Masete Kuya was here. It's going to grow, and I want to say specifically to the children. What is my relation first with the family? For those of you who don't know, it is an open secret that I was born and raised in a UPC family. It's an open secret. I was born and raised in a UPC family. And as a young man, I lived with these people and they took me as their own son. I'm from a very humble man, family. I left my biological father at the age of 12 and started living with these ministers in what Ugandans now call Obote II. These ministers. And they looked after me as their own. So when it overthrew the government, the government fell with all of us I also fell. So I fled the country at a very tender age. 
I fled the country at a very tender age, and I ended up in Kenya. I could not join Oneba Kenya and his dad in Lusaka. I was nearly hopeless. I was nearly hopeless. But this man gave me hope. He took me and kept me in his own home for three years. Three years. This, for, this children, you stand up, you children of Masetekuya. These children, they have cooked for me, cooking food for me, not as a refugee, not as a dependent in their family, as a member of the family. This one, I know them very well. I can assure you, Mama Saba, I know these children sometimes a little more than you. I know Patrick here lying a little more than even so many people who are supposed to have grown with him. There are some secrets that are known by me, Patrick and a few other people who are still alive and can only appear for the public when I am no longer a public servant. <laughs> because I will be writing my memoirs. <laughs> so these children are very special to me. They made me a man. They made me feel loved. They made me complete when I was supposed to be hopeless. I came back to Uganda in 1991, and I can assure you today, this man has died when he was no longer opposed to NRM. This I can make it very clear. So I came back and the was started talking to them to come back and work here. Very intelligent. This guy is a chemist. If they didn't tell you. He's an accountant. This is a biochemist. This is an engineer. This is a vet doctor. It is the kind of people you are dealing with. Now, if you have this kind of brains and these young ones now, if you have this kind of brains, then some Kwara Kwara person is saying they shouldn't settle here. <laughs> really. Really. Some Kwara Kwara person, you, you don't want a chemist here, you don't want a veterinary doctor here, you don't want a, a biochemist, you don't want an accountant, you don't want an engineer. You don't, these are going to be better than even these ones because these ones are going to be inspired by these ones. The family of Masete Queer, your business now as children is no longer to mourn your daddy, celebrate the life of your father, he raised you, help these ones to grow to your level and beyond, and come and establish your fruit, your fruit. Here, come and establish your, your, your roots here. Nobody will disturb you. This country, for me, first of all, I belong to a clan which doesn't beg. My clan depends on getting what I want, especially if it is mine. That's the clan I belong to. So you'll get your things. I have been here, Mr. Chairman, several times. I took, what I did first was to take this one here, Lanza, to my village, to show him that I'm a minister, a very powerful minister, actually. But while I'm a minister, I'm a farmer, the second biggest cassava grower in Uganda. So I took this one and showed him if I'm a minister and I'm digging, go and start digging. So I, 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 I saw him starting to plant this because I inspired him. I inspired him. Little did I know that this professor would even die now, this year. But it would be ugly to come here when there is no semblance of a home. But it's beautiful to come here when there is a semblance of a home. The home is not just a complete house, but it's also food. So, Mama Saba, these are your children. And you, my children, my brothers and sisters. Kampala is just our address. Here is home. Here is home. So, I want you, Mom, the stepmom, be in Nairobi. Just for uh, some small, but in this room, one of the rooms in NASA, help mom renovate one of the rooms. Be coming here regularly. Now my bus is only three hours. You children, be here. This is home.
this family will never disappear. That I can say with a lot of certainty. Be seated. Let me leave to one secret for those of you who don't know. This man should have stopped the coup of 1971. Masete Kwea, Dr. Rugunda, David Anyote went to Obote and told Obote, your SLC, don't go to Singapore. The situation is not good. Don't go to Singapore. But some other people advise Obote, you go, the situation is under control. So Obote went, and a terrible guy took over the lines of the country and went through the consequences that we all know. That's why when he died the other day, among other things, the first person I talked to was Dr. Rogunda. Doctor, our brothers died. My fathers died. President Museveni was in Vietnam, but he was informed in Vietnam about the demise of Patrick. And he quickly set things in motion, and this powerful minister of Karamoja was put to be in charge of the arrangements. And I want to thank her so much for an excellent job. <laughs> Rukunda brings greetings. Rukunda wants to meet you, the children of Masete Kia, when this is done, just to encourage you. And I got me and Honorable Goretti will facilitate that meeting. We are going to tell the President how happy we are for his magnanimity. But we want H.E. the President to meet you as a family. I am not supposed to make pronouncements about this building, but I'm going to pray over it. I know what's going to happen here. I'm going to pray over it, my Lord Bishop, so that next time when I come, I have a room to stay in here. I have a room to stay in here. The state is going to play some role in making sure that this place becomes more habitable. That, that is going to happen. This was a temporary intervention just to make sure that we can have somewhere to put this body as we lay him to rest. Finally, I want to say for the children again, be united now more than ever before. I want you to stand together, feel the pain of Eric Nathan, feel the pain of Irin, feel the pain of Ellen, feel the pain of Susan. Each one, if you do that, you will be such a formidable force. Because you have already brains, what you don't have is the spinal cord. <laughs> but that spinal cord can be mobilized by first of all your strength and the goodwill of the people around you. We are here, and God has been very kind to keep us. We have survived the COVID, we have survived the Ebola, we are going to survive other challenges. I wish you all the best, my honorable colleagues. I have seen your rod. I am going to dispatch a team from Yorra to make sure that they do the maintenance. Those portals will disappear now that I've stepped here. Your Minister, Madam Kituntu asked me a few things, including a, some few roads, Mr. Chairman, and then also your calls. I have not abandoned your request. I am in touch with the Minister, and in the next one week, if you saw the advert of yesterday, there was something to do with Manaf also on some community access roads. It's going to be done. It's going to be done. That's my promise. But now that I'm going to leave my last year, I am going to be in charge on one or two things just in memory of this man, this great man that we are laying to rest. I want to thank everybody. I came with another young friend of Masete Kia and a retired officer of UTL and a, and a telecoms engineer. That man is a telecoms engineer, but he has retired. Now, now he's back home. He is a good brother of mine. 
but the support is not in is not in loop, but I think FBC. But sometimes uh, it's difficult to distinguish those fellows. But I move with him like that. What to do now? Me and Daniel, the guy seems to be FBC, but since we are related and we do some other things together. There is no problem. You can be in my car, but he enjoys the car that was given to me by the government of <laughs> yeah, He enjoys the car. I thank you so much. May the soul of my father rest in eternal peace. Can I now have this opportunity to invite you, Chief Mona, to come and address this distinguished audience and say farewell to Maseti. family of the late professor, the family of the late professor Patrick Masete Guya, the judge, my colleague, the minister of state for works, my colleague, Honorable Kenna, the President of UPC, Honorable colleagues, members of Parliament, all leaders in your various capacities, fellow mourners. Masete Kuya, I think when we were, I was, I think, in all level when that name was sounding, and I think the time when I was, I think, a level then went to Makerere, that's when he was our leader here. Now, being a youth, I cannot speak that close interaction that I had with him, but we can talk about what we hear. But I want to thank this gentleman for two things, two things. A lot has been talked, but I want to thank two things. One, I think one of the family members said, 10 years ago, he accepted Christ as his savior. I think that is the first most important thing. All the things which we are talking, he's now looking at us. My brother here who was in the red cap and you know, he has a lot of words, but he mentioned one very important thing. That we have a body, we have a soul, and we have a spirit. Now, for me, I think even his age, he could be my uncle. Now he's looking at us. So it is, now this is the body, but the spirit and the soul has gone back to where it came from. Of course, my leader here was mixing back things, but he forgot to say that that is where we should focus all our efforts. I can see people grumbling over that. Our uncle, has he gone with any piece here? He's just going to occupy a very small piece. And this should be what the children should listen. Of course, many people are telling me we are going to support you, but the biggest support should come from us. Look up in heaven. The biggest judge is up here. Number two, why I thank this great man. Many people have been talking a lot of things. I think I read on social media. The NRM government has no issue with anyone who is a Ugandan. And take it from me, I came here personally when I was a minister, and I made an effort to get my uncle here back in Uganda. But there were some issues, some issues. So the issues are here, not anywhere. 
Now, when I learned of the demise of my uncle, I was able to inform his excellency. You have seen me with no speech. He told me to go and represent me. So he gave me a leeway to speak what is on my mind. But he does that when he trusts you. So I thank him also for that trust. So his excellency, we appreciate many people were worried that my uncle remained. Uganda never does that. We now have a flight which goes to Nairobi every day. And it is under his control. So who was there worried that Maseteko would be buried in Kenya over our dead body? As Uganda, we look for our own. And actually, we had started with the right honorable border to get him back. But the issues are here. They are in his home, and I think the family can bear witness. It is not just government. I, the second thank you I want to thank this man is for educating his children. Mama Sarama is in the case. See, Karen, it's your home, can you? Never come by, you know, how to work, my, ah, ah, I am not, you know. Sometimes you can gauge and say, uh -uh, if I remain here, I can be able to give my children good education. So this me, I call him a great man, because he knows what to do to give his children education. I'm told you are doing your PhD, Mandu, in IT. I've already been told so. You are a biochemist and chemist. So these are either people, if you are to look for a job, these are either things, people to market. You told me you want a job. That is easy, I think. He can be a good inspector in NDA. I've been told he's a vet doctor. So these are... There's another, I think, another message came from Kenya from the Wamarwa family. Thank you very much. So we are the same people. We are the same people. It was just these borders which came, but otherwise we are the same people. So to the children, your father gave you what you deserved. That is education. So don't ashamed him. Eric, lead your team. Wait, I'm told there is a mother who is still around. Where is the mother? Did she come? Okay. Now, mama. Like, on our way to I said, I'm the area MP here. Please, this is your home. And we are going to work to see that. Don't abandon the children. These are your children. They are too young. These are our children, the two young ones. And I was already talking after to the speaker that I have my grandchildren there. So I'll be networking there to see that you are given support. Because education is key, and these children should be whatever. Like, whenever we are going to fast track with my brother, Kenna. By the way, UPS, UPS is a friendly force. <laughs> are you aware of that? UPC is a friendly force, so even if I'm here and my brother here is, you saw me sitting next to him. Even the president knows that UPC is they are our brothers. Honorable Akena's wife, we sit together in the, on the cabinet. So, thank you UPC for being nationalistic, but also mentor the others. 
<laughs> you know them. UPC, DP, and uh, Yema. Those are friendly forces. You know when you lose an election, they say if you can't beat them, join them. And you feel the Uganda, so I might thank my brother here. And we shall support you in whatever, once we are still in power. And we are still there. So, the children, please don't be divided by the politics, but we know the issues in this home, and we are going to support you as government. <laughs> Chairman, and our DC, I don't know whether they are still here, ensure that people in this home are safe. And the DPC, who is DPC? Because these are Ugandans, they have the right to enjoy their country. So Masete Kuya has lived his legacy. Alipa Masaba. Baka alipo bene muandiha. Numajina kuandiha silisi yangu. Nebie kukula. Paka kongira muka mani. Nadara mukusoma. Nadara mukusoma. I think that one, I have to speak openly. Baka Masaba kusoma. If I remember what my mother remained with the one goma seed when I was going to school because she sacrificed everything for my school. By the way, I'm born in the upper district and married in the lower. Now, Miss Inga is where I'm born, but I'm married here. So, education is key. Are you a Romanian? 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 Justice by the way, he was not recognized. You stand up. That one is a great judge. So let's make groups to educate our children.
How can we fail to produce a country leader? Give me a cooking. So, Gamadiza, but if a man are up with a whole good leader, the whole, the man of a good in the Rugosi, Papa Chiamani, Manja, and the council, your city's Mohorire, Honorable Elisha, Wanyara, Munuko Rambide, Arifa, and Muriba, and Gatia, and Gatia Mumuaina, a Rifa, and Muresi, Bukasia, and Gatia, Munarambida, and Tuera, one of the young women said, Kuya. They are many Sometimes they are our ears, not politicians, they ears on the ground. Mandy, any more can
said he went properly with my mom. The first time to see a TV in my life was for the late foreign man of God here. Nasio, how are you doing? Half a year of moon, we come Doctor, I mean, Professor Koya, when I came back again, what was I said, I don't know. Because I did to know you. It was very stubborn. So I saw the minister getting out when he's very much under the stick, running after the sun, and after saying, I'm disciplining my son. Sinaka Nunekata was a disciplinary. We have a man, I don't know, but he was a boy. At my I went to the minister of what is so many money? Nega can hold on this. That's what you are. He was teaching a lesson. Papa, because of time. Allow me to end it there. Where is Wava Kani? Somebody could even say Wava Hesile. And I'm not saying any having. Where who are the Sabadi Kun? Who gets my second Buya? Guy had to remove this region. I told him to hold just as an agitator of Mari. We had a service with him. Now, but when I see Mario, the only that we must see what we are going to do. Now, when we are going to do a bolo, short the phone is straight time. Now, so this is long we have it. We are going to go there. Papa, we film, Sarah, we film. We can we film at the professor. The eyes are not going to be seen. We are going to have it. We come and we see. I will see you later. Many are not with. I'm going to call the Michael Peter Musingo. By God's grace, and also by Bishop Musimase, I'm going to ask you to come back to the Abba Nikonadi. Can you know the first thing you have to do? You have to come back to the Abba Nikonadi. You have to come back to the Abba Nikonadi. Can you come back to the Abba Nikonadi? You have to come back to the Abba Nikonadi. You have to come back to the Abba Nikonadi. Kwa kwa kani na paa pumulabilizi Nga niyo tawasa siru Tambula nga sechacha Tambula nga sechacha Himself. 
I want to replace you to lend me your ears because I'm not going to take quite a long time for I know we have some mothers who have to travel long distances. But I want to thank God for the life of uh, Professor Masete Kuya who is lying here. And I want to really to appreciate the legacy that he has left. We have talked all about our, our professor, how good he has been. But my question as a bishop is what lesson can we learn from Professor like here? We need to learn lessons because Professor Masete Patrick Akuya was an exemplary leader in this region. And indeed, at a time when Honorable uh, Professor Lange here was in leadership, I was a young man, a youth, of about 18, 19 years. But we saw the impact of, uh, of Professor. You, have, you, you all agree with me that he was actually an educationist. When you look through our, uh, 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 in, in our region, there are so many schools that Professor actually spearheaded to ensure that they are granted government aid. They have mentioned many schools. In the interest of time, I can't mention them. But I can send out to Nomari High School because he was a NOSA, Nomari Old Students Association, who loved Nomari High School heartily. And he kept contributing even during his time of leadership. He contributed greatly to the Mary High School. And I want to assure you that the Mary High School is now moving on well. But my appeal to our members of parliament, what can you learn from this grandson son of Uganda? You know, there is a lot that can be talked about him. And I want to assure everybody, every mourner who is here, you have to know that life on planet Earth is a contract. So if you know that life on planet Earth is a contract, whichever assignment that God gives you, do that assignment as if you are not going to live tomorrow. Because life is a contract. When God, after when you are born, God already knows the day when you leave planet Earth. The professors at that time came and God called him. And I want to thank God that Professor amidst all things that he did, he committed his life to Christ. That is very central. The family talked about it. You know, we have talked about other developments. That one is actually a serious one committing himself to Christ, knowing that the life he has does not belong to him. So I want to challenge our, our brothers and sisters who are in leadership. Make sure that when time comes that the Lord calls you to himself, what will people say about you? What will people make, make, make a reference to? So you are in the power, you are members of parliament, and I want to really uh, 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 encourage our members of parliament, come and talk to your people. Because your people have challenges and they have you as their leader. Come and organize programs and talk to them. You know, you only wait when we are burying our people, then they come and talk and talk and talk. Members of parliament, I want to encourage and advise you organize meetings in your constituencies and talk to your people because your people want to talk to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Life is actually a contract. You don't know when the contract will end. And in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, when we read from verse 1, you will actually prove that life is a contract because everything that happens on planet Earth happens at its own appropriate time. You know, there is a day that you were born, and you must know that there is a day awaiting for you that you will die. And I want to tell you that even as you move, whether you are moving on foot, whether you are, you are in a vehicle, you move towards the end. Praise the Lord. You move towards the end. Now, the opportunity that God has given you, you will be accountable. Know that even 
before God. So when you are here, know, rest assured that God who created you is watching you. The God who gives the contract wants you to use this contract very profitably. The leadership role that you have is a God given. You know, in times when we have members of parliament, we have all those uh, protocols and those leaderships. People begin to think it is because they are wise, because they are friendly to others, because they are well known. No! The assignment, the leadership role that you have is God given. So know that you are accountable to the people that God has given you to serve. So I want to appeal to you that since life is a contract and God has given you responsibility, ensure that you do all the best to see that at, when, when that time comes for you to go back, you will not actually go while you're lamenting. I want to thank our brother lying here, Professor Patrick Masete Kuya. Actually, the, we in the Elegon Zone and Uganda in general, we are very grateful for his leadership. Because even the children who never, who never knew uh, Professor lying here, they are still benefiting from what he did. So I want to really appreciate that God gave Honorable Professor Masete Kuya to live a life that actually cherished what God had assigned him. I want to thank him even for taking care and educating this young generation, our children. And the leaders will never go away. So friends, I want to encourage each and everybody know that the Bible says each of us will be accountable of what you do. When the day comes, you are accountable to God. Can you also sit down and count what have you done for this nation? You know, people keep talking about this, talk about that, but the challenge comes back to you. What have you done for this nation? We want to appreciate the government of Uganda because there is no any leadership that does not come from God. And I want to encourage our leaders, please work together as a team. You know, when you are a leader, it does not call about, about fighting and uh, 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 talking about one another. And that is what is happening in Masaba region here. Um, as we speak now, even the, 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 the cultural institution is in the turmoil. It is a gesture that in Masaba we have a challenge. We need to sit down and re-examine ourselves what is happening among the Roma Saba. Among the Roma Saba, if anybody is lifted up, they, they are workers to pull him or her down. Pull that one down, pull that one down. Now, if we keep pulling ourselves, pulling ourselves down, what will happen, what will the end results be? And that's why you see even the foreign government son of Uganda, Professor Kuya, could not even come here freely just because of Obama Saba, they speak this and that. So I want to really appeal to Mama Saba as your bishop. We need to unite. You we need to work together. We need to utilize this time to see that things are done in a better way. Why should we pull ourselves? Why do you keep abusing ourselves? Whoever actually is given the platform to talk instead of talking developmental issues, they begin talking about their friends. This is a praise of, of, of leaders, I think, as a bishop, I want to advise that let the people you serve praise you. Don't praise yourself, because it is the people who should praise you. You are serving them, God has assigned you that duty, that responsibility. And instead, you are just serving yourselves. I want to thank God for the few leaders that are actually developmental oriented and our nation really requires people who are developmental oriented the government has set many programs but when you come in the villages the chief owner was talking about forming groups so that people can now plan it together but i wonder for us in our villages the groups that people know are groups for burying one another they have organized burial groups 
You know, uh, 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 you know, Kumari Sihana, Sihana. Why should we now cherish for Sihana? Other than cherishing for coming together and to development in our areas. Friends, this is a, a very serious matter. Life is a contract on planet Earth. How are you going to give account for the life that God has given you? And I want to tell you, what you do will follow you. If you end others, I want to tell you, you will never come up. If you don't wish others good, then God will never raise you. If you don't forgive, then God will never even forgive you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Forgive one another. Work together as a team. The, our members of parliament in Masabala, let's work together. Let's work together. Avoid these parties. Yes, go in your parties, but when it comes to development, let's speak one language. Because if we are talking, of, we have this road now that goes to Rahaha. I don't know whether the journal carries the movement people. Oh, it is a road for all of us. So if a school, let's work together and bring a school. If it is a hospital, let's work together. Bring a hospital. Because it is it does not only serve the yellow, it will serve those who put on red, those who put on blue, and the others. So friends, development is for us all. And if we don't work together, things will never work out. So if a school is being done in one area, and MP say, no, we are promoting the other one, they will think that one is now the one doing this. No, they sabotage to see that that one, that project doesn't come up. We will be having a very powerful uh, hospital on this, on, on this hill here. Long ago, the history actually has it. That the Romans have sabotaged and we missed a, a powerful uh, a, a hospital here. We missed so many projects. So if there is a devil that has remained there that disorganizes our people, we shall pray and fast until this devil dies. So that Mama Saba can begin a journey that will lead us where our children will also say, yes, our forefathers did this. So I want to, uh, to conclude by actually encouraging each and everyone here that God knows you. God knows what you do. God knows even your bad schemes. If you have bad schemes against your friends, God knows. But he has given you opportunity to change. You know that is the goodness of the God we serve. He always gives an opportunity for every person to change. When they talk of corruption, corruption it begins from the families. You know, at times when they, you know, corruption is nurtured from our homes. And the children grow while they are corrupt. Why? Because the parents themselves, they even steal their own assets in their homes. You know, a mother is stealing this and is selling a child, don't tell the father. The father is also stealing this and is selling the child, don't tell the mother. Now, when the child steals, he should now tell you. <laughs> because everybody, that is the game. Now, a child grows under such a circumstance. So I want to encourage that let's begin streamlining, streamlining our families. You know, if our families are good, then the nation will be perfect. If families are good, then the church will be, uh, will be perfect. But now let's work on our families. So as a bishop, I want to convey our condolences to all mourners and the family in particular for the loss of our Professor Papa Masete Kuya, who has been an exemplary leader. He has been exemplary. He was accountable. He was diligent. And he knew what to do. He, he was a person of action. A man of action. I remember in 1982, when I was a, a young man in senior two, there, is, there was a match in a, 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 there was a match in a, in a, in a, in a, in a Mara stadium. A stadium that uh, uh, Honorable Professor Patrick Masete Kuya, that, uh, that he, 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 he actually uh, advocated and he ensured that it is rectified. So yesterday we were there and we were lamenting the situation in which the, the, the stadium is. 
And I want to appeal to the members of parliament gathered here. Let's really ensure that we revamp the, the stadium of Mbari. You know, young generation, we have children with the talents. In Mbari, we have children with the talents who can play football, football very well. They can run, they can do what, they can, you know, this facility ought to have actually created opportunity for many youths. But it is good. I think if that facility was there in the 80s, I would have prayed for, 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 for Uganda Cranes because I was a very powerful footballer. I, I, I moved, I footed for 22 miles to come and watch Uganda Cranes play at our masters of Kenya in 1982 in Mbale Stadium. And when you reach the Mbale Stadium, you would think you were in Europe because the stadium was good, was perfect. But you go there and see what is happening. So my prayer is that may God help us, really. That we can really begin developing and looking at things afresh. When any development program comes, it is not for that party. It is for the good of the community. If we have a school, if we have a road. But I want to conclude on this. Because I can say our legacy teachers are here. The challenge that we have in Uganda, we have good policies. The policies are very good. They are passed by parliament. But after passing the policies, they shape them. They don't use them. Do you know that we have schools that were constructed just a few years ago, but they are collapsing? Why should they work? We have roads that have been made in just two or three years' time. The potholes are there. Then you begin wondering where is the supervision? Where are the engineers of today? We have the engineers, but they ignore and say everything is good. And then we begin blaming the government. Our role, what is our role as a leader? What is our role? Last time I saw the LC1 in an area, they told me the LC1, LC1 is who are here. Be very careful with those stamps that the government have given you. They are going to give you stamps so that you terrorize and, and get money from the, the, uh, the, the, the citizens of Uganda. You are there to, have, to help and support them. The stamps are the ones who are being utilized to transfer cows that have been stolen in certain places. And the car is stolen, and the person who has stolen the cow has a, 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 a whole letter stamped by the chairman, the LC1. And then when they look at it, the whole thing just ends there. Now, where is it? Now, when you talk of corruption, where is that one now beginning from? So, friends, may God help us that we become agents of change. Where you are, you can become an agent of change. First of all, change your attitude towards God. If God reigns in your heart, and you know that you have a little time on planet Earth, Whatever you are assigned, you will do it with the trembling because you know God is watching over you. When they met me, the eighth bishop of Mbale, that's uh, on 5th December last year, some people began saying, you know, serving God and they say, you have fallen into things, that is the kind of uh, attitude that our people have. You know, this is a selfless service. You know, preaching the gospel and guiding the people of God. And now when they pronounce that Nanda is Bishop Wedek, then the people begin to say, Nanda wakuye mubin, wakuye mubin. No! You know, I tremble before God and see how best can I serve the people of God. So whether you are made a minister, you are made a member of parliament, you are made an ambassador, in those respective positions, name them, tremble before God. So that God can give you and empower you. The problem that we have is the problem that we have is when the people of God are assigned a responsibility, they start celebrating that they have fallen into things. And once you do that, I want to tell you today, hear from me, you are a failure already. 
Once you are assigned the responsibility and you begin the dancing, that you have fallen into things, you are already a failure. Because when you dance and then you, you begin bragging around, you think you are able and you can, you can manage without any other person. But once you know that God gives assignment, you tremble before him and he will always equip you. May God bless you, friends, as we go to our respective destinations. Let's remain united. Let us pray for the family of Professor Patrick Masete Kuya because God's intervention in this family is very paramount and we really need God's power. You know, for me, I can even preach without this microphone. You know, God will always intervene where there is a prayer. And I want to assure the family that as a church, we shall keep standing with you in prayer. Don't be scared. Just be courageous. Because the Lord is with you. And I want to tell you, when you go back, read Isaiah chapter 43. That is a text that I'm reading for you. Read Isaiah chapter 43 from verse 1 and go on. You will see the assurance of God to you as his child. God knew that on that particular day, the, the, his son, Professor Masseto, will be taken back to him. And he will leave you. I don't think that God has forsaken you. No. God is with you. And God will remain with you. And all that God intends for this family will be accomplished as long as you remain focused in him. May the good Lord be with you. May the good Lord guide you. And may the good Lord bless everybody. Thank you very much. Lord Almighty, we want to thank you for who you are to us. And today, as we send off our beloved Professor Patrick Masetekuya, Lord, we pray that may you continue being in our midst. We commit the family into your hands. We commit all the Christians in this area. Father, we commit the clan. Be with them. Guide them. Reorganize their thinking. Change their attitudes. So that, Father, at the end of it all, the unity that we shall enjoy, we shall be praising your name, and the honor and glory will be yours. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We were to Let's remain standing for the creed. Then after the creed, we shall give offertories or alms in the house of the Lord because it is an act of worship as we give. Then after that, we shall invite those for playing the wreath to be prepared. All together, we shall join the Apostles' Creed now not 
kugena mkisele choku gaba, utaku gaba. Nenga mkwa na mwana kana hosi mapapa mwana bini zule siro mo. Wahuli sire. Mkisalo mereta yari wa hasira. Ni wahuli ili. Ba masaba, ba masaba, ba masaba. Urumundu wa nina angachi. Mwenza kama wale humu chola ya mwumu hisiasi. Wale besi ili so kalifisi ya masaba mwana ili. Ora mundo é para mulher da gira, como a rua de mamã apa, muda nele aquele caminho, nem mulher aquele da, para por mulher precisa fazer bem esse romo, era o nosso era por nível chefe, que será que a fugava, que na rua de Asias, mas o menino foi até, foi invadido por esse menino, foi até, na polícia, mas o menino não vive em pão. Mbali simu pera na amba iru mu ya face pe haremo mara mbele ni njema tete tayo mbali simu na angapo yeye ni simu pe no kusabu ya bibi umama kwa mbali simu ni njia kwa mbali simu pe na mo mone tete tili mo alika na huko ndiyo chos mbali simu pe na chofu pe na tia sisi tino pe na le mtu ndiye mwalo Ahu e him, oh e gospel music. Thank you. 
garçon bak. Varsa var mı? Mine 8 ay yolunu tutuyor. Ne bulun dişi? Okey, okey.
Let us pray, Katsabe, Kuanga Katona in Zabiona, Yagade, Rexa Chin of Tuare, Ulamu, Uganda, Ono, Omagalwa, Patrick, Masete Kuya, Afude, Chetuba, Teka, Mubiriga Mutaka, Etaka Mutaka, Efu Mufo, Efu Pomo Fofo, Gatusu Viranga, the Tubusa Busa. Together the Dalanga to the Bokuzuki, where you are from Utakuma, Uamukaboa, Yesu Christo, and you are in San Bibiria, Pajitari, Tibua, Gilio Kajifan, and Nomuriko, which Tibua, Gamani Gamaja, Gakola, with Gale, and Gadimu and the Sokwaja, and we live into your now. Gaudira, and the Bosa, and the Mamuru, Gaida, and the Wadika, and the Sabo, and the Piramukaboa. Kubuwa, omulokozi wa fe, era omurunu 
Thank you that this cross that will be put on this graveyard that will be a memory.
Ray.